Hello everyone, welcome to another Makoto Shinkai movie. Uh, in the meantime, Surprising I, this time picked by Terry instead of me. Most likely because I kinda caught up slowly, Pedro showed me uh, 5 centimeters per second. Fuck, but fuck trains, by the way. Uh, <laughs> in this case, uh, it's children who chase those voices. You didn't or... need to watch that movie, I could have told you that. From but what I've but... seen so far, and what I've seen so far, apparently this counts to the Ghibli movie. Not um, just that, but Sky Porn. Yeah, yeah. That, Wait, that hold well. on. Isn't that what Place promised to us was? You know, with that old sky tower that, reaching that, up? That's exactly it, Joe, but that's what Makoto Shinkai loves to do in his movies, sky porn. Well, anyway, it makes sense. Look how beautiful the sky is. Why not? The Japanese can make food porn and scenery porn. Why not sky porn? <laughs> anyway, some technical details. This movie was released in 2011. Makoto Shinkai is the director uh, and the and writer. writer. A producer yeah. along with Noritaka Kawaguchi. I don't know what the plot is. I only saw a bit and piece of it, but I'll tell more once we'll start. So start before uh, the, the Comics Wave uh, Films logo. Thanks. AA Studio. All right then. Media Factory. Three, three, two, one, click. Funny story. This or movie, yeah, rather. this Sorry. movie had a terrible localization in my country. It was outsourced to a French studio, which voiced in with people who clearly didn't know what to, how to dub. So a common thing to do in my country is to have YouTube poops uh, on, based on this, on how the the dub is terrible. Weird. Don't oh, the French fantastic? And don't the and French things like this thing? Remember, yeah, this is our protagonist, and she looks like Heidi. Like we're not even trying to hide that. Heidi, 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 Heidi. Don't run the bridge over, over a lake. Here. And of course, the sky. <laughs> hey, that looks like Nino Kuni, which was actually coming around the corner around this time of year in 2011. Well, near to in 2011. Japan. In Japan. Yeah. In Japan. Also, hey, I this looks like this the start of. Was that one Irish movie? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. As it's been pretty obvious over uh, uh, for the movies we've commented on from him so far. Uh, Makoto Shinkai is a huge fan of uh, beautiful animation studio. Like, it's obviously, Studio Ghibli is one of his big inspirations. Is... And this is his big love letter to Studio Ghibli. This is so surreal. I mean, Makoto Shinkai, for the most part, has had a consistent art style, but here it's so Ghibli esque. The, pe yeah. the background in particular stand out and being done in a different style than the this actual moving animation. Yeah, and this particular girl, her design just reeks of Ghibli, uh, so of 90s Ghibli girl. A, so there was a movie and a game that was basically a love letter to Studio Ghibli. Uh, and also, Cup Noodle. Didn't Studio Ghibli also have a Where's film the... coming out around this time too, Pedro? Which, what, sorry? Did Studio Ghibli also have a film coming out themselves in around this time? Uh, no, they had, uh, to... Harrieri. They, they had Harrieri in 2010, but no. Uh. So Actually, is... no, 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 I, they had, I think, I think, I think, uh, I, I think, uh, Popo, I think, uh, Poppy's Hill came out this year in Japan. On, up on about... Poppy Hill? Up, yeah, up on Puppy Hill, yeah. So, who is the schoolgirl? We can tell she's a, she's a schoolgirl because she's wearing uh, a uniform. That's a radio kit. Yeah, basically, she likes uh, experimenting with old radio equipment. Oh, so just like the inventor guy uh, from Kiki's Delivery Service. Um, what, is, she, she is she creating her own lightsaber? No, I think and she's creating her own Walkman. No. So apparently crystals can let you hear the radio. Well, actually, believe it or not, some gems are actually very conductible Jesus. with electricity. What the fuck? I, I should probably even... ask my father about this. Even uh, those uh, shits uh, about radio. I, I don't know the first. I don't know the first thing about this technology, so I'm I'm just not gonna talk. Oh, about it. what the? Uh, cat caught cat talks thing. I feel like Yo. I've heard that voice before. Let me check uh, the voice actress. Anyway, Tio, it's funny you mentioned the French localizing for Italy, because from what I've seen, the French in Italy seem to have quite a bit of rivalry. Yeah, the same company. Had, essentially, the company was uh, outsourcing a couple of these movies. Not all of them were called Shinka. For example, they got one of the OVAs of Black Lagoon. And it sounds terrible. Again, uh, though, France and it deep below. Uh, again, though, Fran deep below. Okay. France and Italy seem to have it out for each other. Why would you outsource an Italian localization? I, no, I, I literally don't know, especially because we usually have a track record of having good localization for 
uh, anime in general. So what happened there? I have no fucking Someone clue. Someone pick up the phone. Like seriously, in Ace Attorney Three, they literally changed a terrible chef from French to Italian in the French localization. Because. That was just to piss off the Italian. <laughs> anyway, Joe, to answer your question from before, the main character, I think it's called Asuna, is voiced by Hilary yeah. Hag. How? Huh. Huh. Hilary Hag. Hag. Isn't that one of the the actresses from the Ghost, Ghost Stories. Stories dub? Yeah. Oh my god, I think it is. Yeah. Well, she was okay. She voiced, she voiced Satsuki there. Oh, yes. Oh my god. Just, I thought I recognized her voice well, somewhere. She, well, at least she managed to get a career, I guess. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, at some point we have to show you ghost stories. Like, Definitely. Shuri, mm -hmm. imagine Don't this. Don't you did a train. Imagine this, Shuri. What if it we're brings us about this later, Jova? Come also, on. Fuck I was just about again. to summon up what if quickly, the, that's what all. If the movie, what, if, what, if, what, if, what if, like, this is just the whole movie? She then runs into the path of a train and then dies of the moral of the you story. You do not have level crossings. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, look at that guy. The story Cherry is, Blossom uh, becomes Japan. Japan. Oh, oh, look at the that. The moral of the story is look both ways for crossing the street. Oh, look at that guy. It's a train in a Makoto Shinkai film. We what are the odds? Blossoms though? around here too, but they pale in comparison to what you'd see in Japan. Now, hey now, I, however, however, I however, however, score. now our cherry blossoms in uh, California are actually. Was, this was actually the last time that Tenmon worked with uh, Makoto Shinkai. He did the score for all of his movies up until this one. But starting with Garden of Words, he started working with uh, the composer. Oh, uh, and like, Tenmon did nothing Oops. after this. Hey guys, no. um, hey guys, got I got something for you. What? No. What's one thing that Mashen what's one thing that Shinkai always does before making a movie? Uh, um, look up the sky. He does he does training. Uh -huh. ha, 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 ha. Anyway, sure, it's only mentioned Cherry Blossoms because believe it or not, in California, and no that Ace Attorney wasn't making that up, we have some pretty great um cherry blossoms, especially in the Japanese district of California. Uh, can you not is this, please? Yeah. Is this, 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 <laughs> this, this, this going to be the whole movie? A day in the life of some random girl? What even is that thing? Is that... No, 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 no. Don't it's worry. Like, she'll, like, be pulled, she'll be pulled into a fantasy <laughs> world where she's going to have an unforgettable adventure about friendship. Uh, don't worry. Shiri, can, can you confirm this habit? <laughs> Yes, I can. <laughs> really? Valentine actually, does this? It's um, it's it's funny because um, me and Alice were looking for random indie games to play, like, you know, some of the random shit you oh, get on Steam. Let me guess, you got no Lucano. This goes back to what I always what? keep saying, that the Jap- I, know, that Jap I don't know what that is, but there's one where you, it's like a first-person simulation of a cat, and what you got to do is yes. just push shit off furniture. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What? This goes back to what I keep saying about uh, the, how Japanese filmmakers are much, way better than others at uh, romanticizing the mundane. The idea of the idea of these scenes is, of course, to show us exactly how her life is, so we can have a firm grasp on mm -hmm. her character. Does that, does that cat think he's on Takeshi's cat? Takeshi's castle with skipping <laughs> stones. <laughs> It's polite to the Does brand. that show come back yet? Hmm? Let me Bring guess. The cat uh, somehow... Yes, yes with uh, Jonathan Ross. So let me guess. Right. Let me guess. The cat will return. Of course. No, no, no. no. That, that, surprisingly, we don't uh, do a throwback to that one. Hmm? Uh... And of course, uh, in, just like in Spirit Away, we have a mysterious. Yeah, yeah, and just like in Spirit Away, we have a mysterious boy. Oh, not to Spirit Away. How about House Moving Castle? Ponyo looks up to a mysterious girl, and even <clears throat> nah, not that one. But well, I was using the most obvious example just for the sake of uh, oh, everybody getting is it. Is our teacher pregnant? Yes. Looks like. Huh? Don't, don't bother, that's not really important, it's just a detail. Yeah, the for... uniforms look exactly the same as the ones from Your Name. The, well, well, do we have to consider Depends on the, 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 the same the universe. Universe. They, same, they go to the same school. Well, believe it or not, Dwebs, I mean, it wouldn't... Well, the same animation team. Well, well, also, Dwebs, it wouldn't be the first time that more than one Makoto Shinkai film takes place in the a same bear? universe. Like, remember yeah. how his first two also take place in the same universe? You know, it's interesting that she's pregnant because, for the most part, substitute teachers aren't really a thing in Japan, so I wonder how being pregnant as a teacher works out. Heck, normally you call in a substitute teacher for a teacher who's pregnant. Basically, the teacher was warning all the students that uh, you should be careful outside because apparently there's some kind of bear and whatever and you might attack. Whatever. Uh, the well, point is... surely you must mean a skunk bear, right? Or a gopher bear? <laughs> Well, when I was in um, Nara, which is um, 
the village where deer roam, there are also warnings for boars that will walk around. And this isn't a rural park. This is near a city. So this isn't uncommon. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Are those the kind of big boars that are, like, really a big? A boar is generally big, Jova. Yeah, Jova. <laughs> well, I know, I know, I know, but, I they, come, but they sometimes come in sizes. <laughs> Today in this Makoto Shinkai movie, we're going to show you how to do the housework. I will do Kung Play, honestly. You gotta, you, you, you gotta, le- le- you gotta learn like something. Gibbs, you gotta learn something. Really? I do plenty of housework. Any particular reason, Tio? Hmm? Any particular reason why you wouldn't mind if it were like that, Tio? I don't know. It seems well constructed, I guess. The- Romanticizing the mundane, it's classic Japanese. Uh, well, but, but it's oh, weird. Well, I mean, well, to be fair, to be fair, well, to be it, fair. It, but... it's, weird, it's weird because I generally prefer when I watch a media to be the most escapistic as possible. Like, uh, if it's too realistic, it's usually not going to attract me. But I get some exceptions here and there that surprise me. To be fair, like, it. Oh, so, t- so it's just like the wonderful opening chapter of Every Rain, isn't it? Yeah, anyway, yeah. as I was about to say. <laughs> To be fair, and man, you know, this is where Shinkai turns on Ghibli mode. It was the ghost oh, of a train. For, 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 what are you doing for, here? For, for, uh, for, a second there, thought, for a second there, I thought she was going to be hit by the train. Oh my god. Um, there you go, Dwibs. Uh, escalated it enough for you? What uh, the you wish fuck it was is a train. that? But, it, but, it's, but, it's, but it's too weird, though. I mean, we go from mundane life stuff to all of a sudden beasts. Uh, Dwibs, have you seen a Ghibli film? That's like how yes. they all are. Ew. The whole the whole yeah, idea the whole idea of these films is that the whole reality meets fantasy. I think Cat Returns have seen Spirited Away. Oh yeah, that's well, right. I think, I think it, well, to be fair, Joe. Well, mm. And to I be guess fair, Joe, to be fair, this one does kind of come a bit out of nowhere. Whereas I will admit, yeah. in other Ghibli films, it, they do kind of ease you in. Like yeah, here, to that was. With... Yeah, to compare with Inspired mm-hmm. Away, they go through this portal and they come into this world and then they, they like it's it's a weird place and we. Oh my god, that a... looks like the boy from Spirited Away. That it reminds does, me more it? of Owl, ye the young well, Owl. Well, well, from the future. Well, they also it's look like, similar too. It's like a mix you. of both. It's like a mix of both. Mm-hmm. Basically. Anyway, as I was about to say, to be fair, romanticizing daily life is not a thing exclusive to Japan. Honestly, I mean, no, I'm not saying it is. It's just that Japan does it way better than others. What the mm, fuck did that thing I just fall guess. I have I mean, no idea, Shiro. I mean, I is hate to s- or, I don't know. I mean, I hate to say it, Pedro, but nowadays, Science of Life is kind of a thing that plagues anime. And that's not to say that it can't be done good. Yokai Watch is a good example of that. It's just like, well, the problem is like, well, it's a bit of an anime cliche to the point where a lot of lazy anime directors use that as just an excuse. Like, back Ow. in the day, it was an art. Nowadays, it's just something you come to expect. But hey, it's it's done well here, and oh, oh jeez, oh snap! Oh. Are you having you know, fun, kids? Of, you know, like before all this started happening with all the train tracks we've been seeing, hyper beam. Uh, I was expecting. Uh, is this Atlantis the Lost Empire now? <laughs> Beautiful oh, animation. This, I was expecting a uh, straight up reference to Stand by Me. Uh, <laughs> this is a movie for kids, right? No, it's a movie for adults, no. obviously. No, it's not. Oh, oh here's the train. The train. <laughs> Jap- Japanese, Jap- uh, pr- prominent Japanese animation filmmakers rarely think of kids when they make their films. True. Also, can the trains people? Man, Miyazaki is probably with the one exception nowadays. Oh, I- I'm guessing the train people probably can't see. <laughs> oh my God, they can. <laughs> yeah. Uh- ah? <laughs> okay. Thanks. Bye. What's this girl's name? Azuna. And Azuna. Uh, 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 excuse me. Oh, uh, and girls hey, look. <laughs> just, just like this in Howl's movie. This guy needs to go home and drink his sorrows, probably. Yeah. Who, the boy or the train guy? The train conductor, train yeah. <laughs> so, oh, Az- so, Azuna, uh, what did you do in school today? I don't yeah. want to talk about can, it. Can you, can you imagine her blo- blogging all of this? Uh... And now he's literally dressed <laughs> like how. Of Asperia, but... <laughs> <laughs> but he's not uh, by Trey Baker. Look there. Isn't the sky beautiful? Oh, yes. <laughs> 
Look, look at how beautiful it is. <laughs> yes, Let's Makoto. I, I also I, I, the majestic poses. As, as I mentioned, these these guys should be hired to make skyboxes for video games. Where have you been, Azuna? If I catch you out with some boy. That's interesting. We actually never saw. We haven't even seen her parents yet. Okay, okay. We'll okay. see. We'll see the mother uh, in uh, in a few minutes. Head cannon. Sure. Her her mother is the girl protagonist from uh, oh. Spirited Away, and she knows what it's like. <laughs> the mother knows nothing of any fantasy magical shit. It's just my head cannon. Finds the boy more interesting. And then further head cannon. The grandmother is the female protagonist from House Moving Castle. Hmm. Larry, have you take your meds? Jigen, <laughs> uh, what are you doing here? Hold yeah, on. not to mention that guy looks like Lupin as well. Actually, I'm... more like Jigen, but yeah. Well, I wasn't yeah. talking about the guy with the hat, I was talking about the train. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm not gonna question her parents, I'm gonna just sign her their absence. You'd be surprised, too. A lot of times teachers don't really care about that kind of stuff. Yeah, I know. Really? A lot of our professors do. Well, aren't you lucky? <laughs> well, if people say I'm lucky to have my parents still together and not divorced, because apparently divorce is like the norm. Yeah. All right, uh, but we're actually getting a substitute. There you go. There you go, Shiro. Apparently, that's uh, we do get substitutes in, in, but only in emergencies like these. So what did I miss? Yeah. Um, not not much. Basically, the boy. Um, the sky was, was beautiful. Yeah, the, we, 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 before before they split off the front, she split off from the boy. They took a big look at how beautiful the sky is because you know Makoto Shinkai. Okay, it was a very pretty sky. We're gossiping about trains. We really live in a boring city. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it looks like an outskirt, so yeah. What else is there to gossip about? Um. Yeah. All right. So obviously, being absolutely enchanted by someone who broke off from her normal boring routine, obviously she needs to <laughs> okay, find okay, 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 him okay. and see get to the bottom of this. Okay, okay, okay. You know what needs to happen, guys? We need to crowdfund an anime adaption of Thomas the Tank Engine done by Makoto Shinkai. <laughs> I mean, the guy has such a thing for trains. Why not? <laughs> And then, and then this is, they used to feed you from the 2004 show. <laughs> no, no, fuck that. I want to see him ad 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 adapt the storyline of Skyward Sword, because he'd be perfect for that. But remember, yeah. Pedro, trains, oh, trains. For Thomas the Tank Engine. Well, well, I'll, I'll compromise. It's, it's a crossover between Skyward Sword and Spirited Trash. Anyway, Trash, this but... guy with the hat is a detective. He looks hmm. like Sorda. 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 He looks a bit like Jigen, but without the goatee. Like crystals? Apparently, he's actually aware of the whole, you know, supernatural elements, some to, to an extent, mm. and he's investigating. Corporate cover up. Fantastic. Let me guess. As a kid, he was taken to one of these mystical worlds. Or... No, no, no. We'll find out his backstory later. Let me guess. Oh, oh what? Why are you blushing? Because uh, she's, she's shy. Huh? Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> again, is that thing a squirrel or a cat? It looks oh, like, a, cat. again, a mixture between a cat and a fox. It's, it's, a, it's a squirrel cat, don't you? Let me sec. This guy is voiced by Cory Hartzog. Where he is. Was he also from uh, Ghost Stories? No, he was. He started in 2011 with Angel Beats. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Not particularly famous. Uh, I can tell you that his most uh, memorable role, I guess, was 30s. in Moolov. Huh? So you're telling me that playing in this place for all your life, you have never got injured like that. 
Well, it helps with. I, I mean, I, I mean, I, I understand seeing these giant be, pedo bear monster attacking you, but you know. To be fair, to be fair, it's not like she's been doing anything actively <laughs> dangerous. And look oh how beautiful my. the sky is. Okay, 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 okay. okay. We all love the sky. Okay, 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 guys, guys, guys. It's official. We have an anime battle. Makoto Shinkai's two fetishes. The trains versus Sky. Uh, the whole train thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. He does like trains, but to the nowhere near as much as the Sky. I, I don't know, Pedro. Five centimeters per second. <laughs> Garden of Words, and heck, even in the Place Promise, trains kind of featured a bit prominently. Also, I'm surprised that their bento consists of only sandwiches. Uh, like considering the general bento you see in anime, where they're like these three thousand dishes all together. Hold on, listen here. This is important. Sorry. Hmm? Basically, her she picked up on the radio some music she has never heard before, hmm. and this took him off. Did you really need to animate the food inside her mouth, Shinkai? Uh, well, Shinkai is obsessed. The thing about Shinkai, Joe, is that he's obsessed. He's, he's obsessed detail. with detail. Perfectionist. Like seriously, yeah. seriously, seriously. Swallow before you talk with food in your mouth. That's how you yeah, end up that, choking. That, yeah, not just that. So that's usually pull out. It's the point. Hey guys, I mentioned that the sky is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I never know. So many swallows. Come on, guys. Not many people appreciate the sky. So Shinkai's just the, 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 the sky. The sky is to doves. What? Oh. Sorry, the sky is to whatever. So basically, my culture Shinkai would be Toph Beifong's worst enemy then. So the sunset. Since she yeah, hates, she hates flying. And well, as for the sky, well, mm, yeah. The deal so... is that she can always see stuff on the ground. <laughs> Sure. Uh, it's right All next right, door uh, to important lore. It's right next door to Nino Kuni. I have to go back to my city of Atlantis. Seriously, that's the same pendant that they have in the Atlantis movie. I have movie. to go now. My planet needs. So there you go. He, he had two wish. He had two wishes: to see another world and to meet someone. And he's met yeah, accomplished this. Wait. So he so comes from a land of genies? No. You'll so see. is he going home or is that's he That's also connects to the title, the Italian title we chose, uh, Journey Towards Agartha. Yep. Wait, he's gonna take her with him, isn't he? Well, of course, I mean... Uh, so it, it is Captain. Now you're is. my prisoner. Remember, Joe, we're following <laughs> the Ghibli you... formula. Mm -hmm. Okay, remember, girl. Jo remember, Joe, but we're following the Ghibli formula, which means, of course, that the main character is gonna be pulled into a fantastical adventure. Kid, have you ever been kissed before? Like, you know... Well, well, oh, she's like 11. So oh, I'm pretty snap. sure this is... So I'm pretty sure this is probably her the first time a boy has kissed her. You know, at least Ponyo remembered to just have the love story be cutesy, you know, puppy love. Not like, uh... You know, oh my god, what is this feeling swelling up with... Don't, 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 don't well, well... Well, to be fair, girl, girls do uh, mature faster than boys when it comes to these kinds of things. Tell yeah. me about it. Like, seriously, it got to a point where us boys suddenly realized that the girls liked to be it in tag when it was boys uh, versus girls. I don't know, I remember and... to brief. Uh, yeah. She's only 11, right? Oh, good. Nothing scandalous. Well, okay. Well, one thing you guys have to remember, particularly you, Dwebs, is that the. The whole, the whole um, ta sexuality is taboo thing doesn't exist in Japan. Japan doesn't really care uh, I, about I have nudity. a dream about that, but I'll say it only after we're done with the movie. Because also, it's yeah, considering, you know, that. I've actually been there, that's a yes but no kind of thing. What? You mm -hmm. mean about girls maturing quicker than boys? No, no, about um, Japan, you know... Hey, look, guys! Look how beautiful! Look at it! Look at it! Look, I can just... I hope I can reach it and touch it! That's the Milky Way! <laughs> okay, Shinkai-san! No, what we the get, fuck? We, we get... And he died! <laughs> See, I knew he was gonna die! See, looking at the sky, the sky is bad him. for you! <laughs> what been? Reach! Oh. Yeah, for I the record, it. for the record, is this supposed to still be in continuity with the place promise in our early days? No, and no, 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 The only two movies of this that are related are Five Centimeters and Promise Place. Uh, Wait, all, is this uh, a time skip or is this the mother? 
I think yeah. it's the mother. This is the mother, yes. Okay. Jesus, lady, you, you know, should stop I always the sounded... have a chin smoker. I always sounded weird how doctors and nurses seem to smoke and drink a lot. Uh, I can come with the frustration, about, I guess. Yeah, the distress, Jova. It's kind of ironic, though, because, you know, secondhand smoke yeah. can be deadly. Is yeah. still the address, by the way? He's burbed. Okay. Yes. What do you think you are? A Ghibli protagonist about to go on a fantastical adventure? No, that was... Oh! Okay. Teenagers. Yeah. Actually, she's 11. Let me yeah, check she's like, she's, she's, she's like oh, 11. All right. The, like... the canned beer. <sighs> wow, what's well, up with the canned beer? Well, uh, that is... that, hold on. Yeah. Oh, yeah and guess what? Drama. He's the substitute teacher. The, oh, the... So... I remember seeing hey! this guy. Hey, this reminds me of Sonic X, where a supposed security agent is Ugh. the substitute. All right, let me quickly. Well, let me just say, Jova, that I honestly think a canned beer tastes like ass, so you should just stick to glass of beer. Uh, honestly, I think beer tastes like ass anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> Depends uh, on the type. What's but... with the bug? Mm. Like, the, Makoto... they, they were mating, Jova. Well, I know that, but I mean, Makoto Shinkai seems to be zooming in on bugs a bit. Uh, remember, Japan is an obsession of collecting bugs. That's where all mon collecting genre comes from. Yeah. There's no official statement uh, about her age, uh, but looking for her appearance, I'm because she's probably like 11 around that age. That or she's a actually slow... Wikipedia states she's 15. Oh, Wait, 15. Okay then. Around, no, that's not a that's not a 15. Pedro, year old Pedro, girl. Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. There are plenty of people. Shinkai-san, who... get learn how to drop. Uh, oh, okay, 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 Pedro, oh. Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. Okay, Pedro, to be fair, there are plenty of people who are a lot younger than they look or she's older just than a they short look. Pack. Yeah. And to be, fair, to be fair, honestly, I've seen plenty of people who look this short um, at the age of 15. Anyway, uh... Okay, 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 so she's 15. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Then in that case, yes, I can see her getting into terms with her sexuality at this point. The basic gist of it is that uh, her father, uh, the father, died uh, when she was young, so she was of forced course. to. Because, so, yes. she was, so because of that, she was kind of, and since her mother spends a lot of time working, she was kind of forced to grow up quickly and learn to take care and of the, the house while the, yeah. while the while the mom uh, is working, basically. But yeah, but now, know, now that she now that she's experienced the magic of fantasy, she can <sighs> she's no she's no longer she's no longer satisfied with her boring routine. You know, the mother's guide handbook to Ghibli daughters always warned me that there'd be a day when my daughter would stare out endlessly into this a This movie is following the Ghibli window. formula to the fucking T. It's a... again like okay, did he seriously Evil not have anyone from Ghibli helping him out? Well, it's one more excuse to show off this guy. All right, isn't it, Shinkai? Admit it. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> There you go. See? <laughs> hey. Hey, Shiroi. Yes. Look how beautiful Want to do a drinking is. game for every time we focus on the sky? No. 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 <laughs> well, Shiroi oh, apparently no, is. Oh. Oh, Jova, it's a flashback. Even, okay. Jova, even the most tolerant of us oh. in terms of alcohol would be dead. This so is when just... her father died. There you go. It's a flashback. Let me guess. Oh, the boy is actually her father. That or... would be very weird. No, 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 nothing like that. Oh. No. So what did he die from? Uh, Ill, insert name here. So. Insert, insert name here. Illness. This Go wasn't. The Wikipedia this, re 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 remember, Jova. This remember wasn't Jova, distributed you, by Disney, was it? 
Actually, no. no. If it's about both parents would be dead, then she would be an orphan. See, I, Sentai, I, Sentai film works. See, the see, see, sure. The reason a lot of parents died in Disney classics was because Walt had a cynical view of the world. Because, well, his mother died in the house he had just bought for her in a fire. That was one in a million chance. Oh, uh, listen here. He's actually talking about the Garfa. Sunday I'll be... No, seriously, that's like the scene from Little Mermaid. I think you are gonna go for the Kingdom Hearts thing. So, wait, in order to reach this world, you have to drown? Yes. That's backward. Hmm. Again, also with the Atlantis similarities, though. Yeah. Uh, thanks, sir. You got... Well, I'll tell you, uh, t t t sit down and learn. You have to learn about the lore before we go sure. to Arafat. Oh, Underworld. Dun dun dun. Oh. Uh, Agartha. So, Agartha is pretty much a play. Oh, so that boy was a ghost. The after. So, yeah, Agartha. So, yeah, the after, so, yeah apparently, right? Agartha is the land of the dead, sorta. Well, that's official then. We are not following him there. But, Jova, we're tired of our boring routine. Yeah, but I'm not tired of life. <laughs> <laughs> life, life is overrated anyway, Jova. No, 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 Tio. Life is strange. By the completed edition. Of issue. course. Uh... To be fair, it actually. Oh, uh, no, we're discussing as in a no. Yeah. A kid trying too hard to be good. Uh, that sounds like every parent's wet dream. <laughs> oh hey, it's the female protagonist from Praise Promised. Hemi Hema. And another dragonfly. Seriously, what is this movie's obsession with dragonflies? Like we've even seen the movie. I'm not saying anything, Jova, but uh what, you're saying that Japan has a thing for dragonflies reproduced? No, 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 I'm gonna say it uh, on another occasion. It's, oh, you know, box. it's weird, actually. I if, wonder if this music box has something to do with his past. Nah. You know, funnily enough, her radio thing that she made, I mistook it for a music box radio, too, or at least part of it, like it was missing the inner working. I wonder. Bye. Oh, but the gun? He has a gun, yes. Well, well yeah, he's, uh, he is the agent from before, right? In well, these guys well, or something. Yeah, yeah, remember, this guy is kind of undercover of sorts. Let me check who voiced him. Um... It's so weird hearing this girl not swearing David, constantly. Um, David Matranga. What was he? Uh, let me check. So yeah, so yeah, part of the lore of Agarfa is that apparently if you, if you go there, there's some kind of you... thing you can do that you can bring back the dead. So let, now it I would wonder, really be maybe, messed up. If so it, yeah, let's wonder. Maybe Azuna can bring back her dad or something. Uh, and the same beast. And now I'm really starting to wonder if that boy really is her father, just younger. No, it isn't. I can tell you that. Otherwise, that last bit would have been very freaking awkward. Would have been Oedipus complex gender well, swap. Not, no, well, not really. She right. She he only kissed her on the forehead. That's not really. I mean. Well, her reaction, you know. Anyway, yeah. Jova, David was also in five centimeters per second. He was a uh, supporting character in the Devil May Cry anime. There was a Devil but May was Cry in, anime? But he was in a bit of everything. Wait, there was a Devil May Cry anime? Yeah, made by Madhouse. I did not... It's I okay, know. shall tell you more later. More. Is that Japan's word for Australia?
Mm. And then it just turns out of that course. the gods have been kidnapped Gee, by evil. I wonder if this person then... actually wants someone to get uh, to get back from the land Tio, of the dead. Tio, 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 we know how this goes. not obsessed, is he? Tio, 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 we know how this goes. It only turns out that the gods were just kidnapped and are being held captive by Granny Goodness. Maybe. Thankfully, Joe, we're not dealing, I guess, with that kind of bullshit here. Uh, okay, thanks, bye. She's gonna stay I from the path, isn't she? You. <laughs> Trains! Mimi. Yes! Oh, there you go. There's that other fetish of his. Okay, Mimi's a servant of the underworld, isn't she? She's trying to lure her. Maybe to it's her like death. those animals in Coco. She's like a spirit guardian. Or... A I guardian spirit. Have but, not, yeah. I have yet to see. And Coco. then she gets. No. Oh. Eh? This oh, is boy, the same the dream. Swells. Oh, okay. This is the the same... <laughs> and now she. And now we have a running sequence. Girl, this is the same. Weezy. Oh, never mind. She crossed the bridge, but. <laughs> Also, I'm calling it now the time in the other place is different from here, so when she gets back, it'll be like five minutes. Hey, so, it's like, so it's like in Digimon Adventure. Oh my god. It's... <gasps> uh... Oh boy! Oh Time snap! Travel, I think. I think. No, 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 no! Let me guess. It was a fake. Yeah, we'll find out eventually. Oh, uh, what the fuck! And now we're in place promised. Archangels. The police. We want to destroy every form of occult and mysticism. Wait, archangels? What the we will not take that girl into a fantasy adventure. Now hand her over. She needs to star in the next Far Cry game! You are towing the line for copyright. Stop what you're doing. Quick! We need to... Quick! We need to keep the Ghibli formula going! We can't, <laughs> sir! They're all dribbling us! Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Don't hit them! Yeah, oh, they want, they they want, want them to lead, lead them somewhere. To the yes. Also, according to that boy, these are apparently archangels. What the heck? And now he's Superman. With that mask, he reminds me more of the Winter Soldier. That too. And now I'm really glad this is not done by Junji Ito because that will turn incredibly creepy. Yeah, it would. Is that the Maker Sword uh, Art Online or uh, Evangelion? <laughs> are, you, are we sure this is not America? <laughs> uh, There's oil in the Garfa. We'll get all of it. We'll get all the oil in the Garfa. <laughs> Have you guys seen that one um, clip from the dub of Dragon Ball that's been floating around? Yes. <laughs> what? Which one? Uh, oh, I'll, I'll tell you later, Jova. I just yeah, even yeah. they kept something in the dub. Oh. Oh. Something that they could get in a lot of trouble for. Okay. He's. Dream Brother Chin. Again, it's so weird hearing Satsuki but not swearing constantly like a sailor. Yeah. We're what all the him fuck? but on different timelines. Um uh, crocodile. No, it looks Gator like a thing. mixture between a crocodile and uh a, a mole? fish. Yeah. What is it, a crocomole? Oh he, he just needs a hug. I no, maybe not. Uh uh oh. Jesus. Dude, what the heck? Uh. Oh, I get it. The crystal gave him super strength or something. 
What? Okay. The gatekeeper. Ah, okay. oh, he's boy. called gatekeeper <laughs> because he's <Yeah>. a gator. <laughs> so let's see. <laughs> so it's, are you the key master? Ow. All right. Time to kill the gatekeeper, I guess. Oh, I know this one. I played God of War. Press square. <laughs> then that works. I guess. Uh. Uh oh. Oh shit. Tail whip. It's surprisingly effective. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. America, wow. fuck yeah, coming to save the fucking day. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's a dinosaur. Of course. Eat peace. <laughs> no. I know that we were just fighting what to the death. What has humanity each become? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but actually, yeah, that's actually what I think about it, Pedro. Now, now we're underground. When will we be able to look at the sky again? Oh, don't no. worry, don't, don't worry, Teo, don't worry. Shinkai's got that covered. <laughs> I guess when we get out of this underground tunnel, we're gonna get a five-minute shot of nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> we need to make sure we don't Are you not that. out of bullets yet? Uh, is this like a sequel to The Thing by John about... Comforter? I was wondering, is this Metal Gear Solid Five we're looking at? All right, so we found the portal apparently. Nano machines. Oh my god, I'm know. getting pan flashbacks. There we well. go. Look at that too. It's the light. It's the light. The sky is near. <laughs> Eh? Really? Is he gonna kill them? Sure, why not? Europa? So what, you're Europeans? Of course. Oh, okay. Mm hmm? It's the professor, isn't it? Well, obviously. There we Very go. Good. Oh, just, oh, what? You know, I just realized this guy looks like Dr. Tofu from Ranma One Half. <laughs> Kinda. Oh, let me guess. Kasumi's dead and he needs to revive her. Oh. There you go. So, yeah, like I said, Kasumi's dead. Oops. I'm sure we'll never cross paths again. It was a good character arc we both had. Oh. There you go, Tim. Wow. Yeah, brothers. Not twin brothers, but close. Similar. So he was a ghost. Ba basically, Shin died, and now Shun here is, um, is taking over, I guess. Like Except like Shane, who was uh, calm and whimsical, he's more edgy and and angsty. Wait, yeah. wait, hold on. Shin died, but wait, why does Shun Shin, live here? Shin, Shin was the whimsical, quiet one. Shun is the angsty, edgy one. So, yeah. so what? Were they like both gatekeepers to the underworld, or are they both dead already? And Shin, they're just... they're warriors who guard the Clavis, basically. That's all. And the Clavis is in the underworld, apparently. Yes. Oh. Okay. Of course. I misplaced promise when it was just simple about of America wanting oil up in the sky. Here, <laughs> now it's about a people who apparently want to try and lead the next new master race. 
Well, apparently this guy doesn't really care. He just wants his, his wife, his wife who back. Yeah. So you're just gonna. So what am I supposed to do? No fucking clue. To be fair, she was the one who um, who got herself involved in this, but. Okay. It's not like well, I have anywhere is. else to go. Yeah, the, the door has been closed, so... And even if the door were open, behind there is a crowd of guys with guns. Well, they're not after her, Joe, but they were after Shun. I mean, they don't care about the girl. Yeah, but they'll probably be on a shoot first ask questions later basis. So yeah, uh, wait, maybe, oh, wait, well, like I said, maybe Azuna will be able to bring her father back from the dead. We'll and, see how and, things go. An ancient lord called Vita. Mm-hmm. Makes sure. Uh, dude, uh, you might want to, um, you know, you know, not kill her. And dead. Wait, can we breathe on that? That was a short movie. There you go. Well, tell remember. You have to die to get there. Remember, tell you have to drown to get there. But surprise, surprise. They can breathe on the water because it's it magical works, so. water. Oh god, it's the Spy Kids free movie. <laughs> well, <laughs> should be fair, Shuri, in that it was lava, not water. I'm more surprised that uh, gravity, that I mean, the physics that usually should work in water doesn't because it should still be probably floating, especially her. Well, remember, Tia, this water has special capabilities and properties. Water McGuffin, that's the first thing. It's... It's magic, don't question it. We We have Joe Casada to thank for originating And then we that. get devoured by the Reaper Leviathan in Subnautica. Whoa! Oh my god, maybe I was we right. Maybe this is Atlantis. We... Well, calling it uh, right now. Eyes. God, Azuna, I'm calling you now. Azuna's gonna come across her father at some point. Like, whether okay. or not they bring him back to life, she's probably gonna run into him at some point. That or a demon who's masquerading as him. Well, we still don't know what the fucking deal with this place of the dead is. I wonder if it's like in the Ace Attorney movie, where for the dead people of Japan, they see flashbacks of Hiroshima. Jeez. Charming. Oh, there you go. Flashback with father and mother. Oh, no. The kid died with her, too, didn't it? Actually, no, this was the flashback of Azuna's parents. Yeah. Oh. We're actually seeing Oh, conception. Jesus Christ, come on now. <laughs> well, hey, guys, in school days, we literally looked from the cut-open uterus of Sekai, oh, so this is just the next step. I think. <laughs> no, it's just a painting of a sky. Well, it's still... Mimi, how did you get there? When did the fucking cat get here? <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! You're a goat! Unless... You're a ghost, Jova, not a goat. Unless Mimi was just hiding in her shirt. Well, yeah. Oh, oh you're close, you Jova. What? Did we come up from that pool? Probably. Yes. It's magic, Joe, but don't question Here we go. Wow, just like in Spirit and... Away. Now it is going to be the Nino Kuni opening. <laughs> oh. Hey, look. Uh, it's, the... Stag? Uh, oh. it's the tunnel in the wall. Why what, do, you, do you want to kill any kind of animal life, or life form? Can't Sorry, what, 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 did I, what did I miss? A lot, Dweebs, though. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Basically, dreams, here's what happened. It turns out Shun, that boy with the cape we've seen, is actually mm -hmm. the younger brother of Shin, who is dead. This guy, um, Azuna's professor, but... is here to rescue his wife, and we had a flashback of, of Azuna being born. No, literally, a flashback of her mother and father talking, and then Azuna being born, and now we're in Nino Kuni. Okay. 
I was going to yeah. say that the, the entrance looks like from Spirit of the Way a little bit. That's yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah ex exactly. The basic gist of it is, is that we're in the land of the dead, and uh, there's apparently a legend that says that someone can come in here and revive people from the dead. All right, and get, the professor here wants to revive his dead wife. So what, are they going to go all Nausicaa Spirit of Valleys on us? There that you go. Too. There you go. <laughs> Look at the beautiful. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, we're it. Oh wait, now we're looking at the sky. <laughs> wow, that is literally Nino Kuni. How do you miss the sky, guys? Over <laughs> Wingsy. <laughs> I let, look, we all look at it! Yeah, oh professor, my. it's the sky! But we're uh, in an airship. But we all live under the sky. Oh, look, air, airship. But no, it's especially beautiful today. So, so, sorry, this, but Shinkai has a big boner for the sky, so... <laughs> okay, Pedro, yeah. please tell me that there's a floating castle, because then that'll mean that this is where Hal and his wife went after they died. Wait, oh, the stone that she used for the radio... It's actually a clever's rock. Oh, how convenient. Close. So that's how it was so conductive, and oh my god, I just realized Legend of Korra did something like this. So yeah, Princess Mononoke is period away. Like, uh, this is basically Shinkai shoving in as many Ghibli tropes in a movie as possible, Again, basically. did he have no... Okay, so he had no one from Studio Ghibli helping him out with this, so... Why... No, no, no. Wow. wow. Like I said, this is, this is his big love letter to Ghibli, basically. Again, it's so surreal. I mean, well, it's... that's the key word with Ghibli. My problem, my my, my Well, I'm talking okay. about surreal uh, in the sense of Makoto Shinkai. Then I go, I recognize Makoto Shinkai style. Well, yet... I can understand with Zoyjova because he's a perfectionist uh, by nature, so he will probably want to do things on his own anyway. As in, like, well, well I. I... And, <sighs> and yes, the music is gorgeous. And yes, the music is gorgeous. And ah, let's swear. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, yeah, okay. it's, it, it, took over. yeah, the music is great. Uh, it's a shame that he stopped working with Tenmon after this movie because I think Tenmon is a far better composer than the one he used for Garden and Your Name, honestly. Oh, I thought the music in Your Name was good from what a lot of people said. It is good, but it's nowhere near as good as the stuff Tenmon did. Well, you know what? They seem to just be having a good old father-daughter, well, not father-daughter sort of walk in. Now, wouldn't it be a shock if he... Oh, I got it. The message is that you just need to find family closest to you. He ends up marrying her mother, and he becomes her stepdad, and then she truly the finds the father me of the she more was you know, for all along. We'll see. We'll see. Again, the piano is reminding me so much of the more you know logo. My only, don't get me wrong, the movie's executing the tropes fine enough, it's just that my pro, my issue with it is that... Uh, You're getting distracted. No, 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 not that. It's just that this is not a Makoto Shinkai movie. It's a Studio Ghibli movie. And Makoto Shinkai, up on, before this movie, has defined his own unique style. Mm. Uh, so Can honestly, you tell I, I'm a fan yet? So, 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 so I don't really understand. The, I mean, let me let me compare this say, to Nino Kuni, for example. Nino Kuni was also a Ghibli love letter, but Hino put a lot of his own stuff into it. it well, to be follow, fair, Pedro, he, 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 he didn't just no. follow the Studio Ghibli checklist. Well, isn't Matsukoto um, Shinkai also putting in his own tropes here, like you said, the eh, sky thing? And there, and there are also some there are also some not other enough, things. If you ask me. Can I just point out a uh, thing, the fact that uh, the professor pedo-scientist uh, guy was uh, smo clearly smoking, hold on. They're both Up naked. The five... Hold on, Jova. No, that, yeah, oh. the, the, the guy was previously smoking after the trip they had underwater, where his cigarettes would be essentially useless now, even if he tried that. Maybe he had them in an airtight bag. I don't know, whatever. Also... Hot potatoes, uh, but uh, yeah, as I was saying, honestly, I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong, Michael, this being obviously Ghibli has got me weirded out, but it's not in the sense that it's bad, and you know what I mean? And, you no, know, no, I'm not saying the movie's let bad me finish, because Let me it. finish, just... let me finish, Sorry, let me finish. Ahead. It's like, I mean, I get that he has his own style, but who knows, maybe he was getting a bit tired of his own style and wanted to, you know, shake things up a bit. Like, you know, I could see that being the case, because, you know, hey, after this, he returned to his usual style, for better or for worse, and, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. And in your name, your, your, your name is probably the best, like, what this movie should have been, because your name is a really great balance of uh, more epic fantasy stuff. Combined with his classic style uh, of two your young name? teenage Wait, lovers. Hold on, your name is about of epic fantasy. Uh, uh, yes, it is. It's yes, more it like is, Freaky Jova. Friday. 
it, it, it is that mixed with epic fantasy as well. Yes. So you're saying um, that we have Freaky Friday <laughs> mixed with the North. And now we have Aurora Borealis as well. Let's. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, everything. Aurora Borealis in this time of year, in this time of day, in this part of the country. Yes, we include the underworld as part of the country, localized in your very own Makoto Shinkai film. Yes. But, but, don't you see, but don't you see, Joe Hexian? I really love masturbating to the sky. Like, it's my one true love. David Cage, what are you doing here? Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's literally a French accent you're doing. Anyway, there, oh, that's the only one I can Shin. do. <laughs> uh, hello there. Uh huh, Shin. Are you still being Sundere? Oops. Oh. Dun dun dun. Let me guess. Turns out, the, turns out the cloud is right when he got is a different one than the one they need. The one they're looking Granny, for is the one that uh, Azuma has. <laughs> that voice is so unfitting for that guy. Twilight? Oh no. Are we still uh, in Ghibli mode? Yes. Uh, twins. We better not <laughs> ah! kill everybody. Nazis? What the fuck? <laughs> yes, Nazis. Okay, 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 okay. Let me explain. Let me explain. Basically, the reason the Agarfians have secluded themselves from the rest of humanity is because man became evil and war. Devastated the world. So of they secluded so. themselves. So they secluded so themselves from the world. However, now that the gateway has been opened, now there are humans in here. So we need to protect the environment. So yeah, yet another Ghibli trope. Environmentalism. Just freaking destroy everything. Yeah. So where's, the, get, well, where's Whoopi Goldberg when you need her? Yeah, another Ghibli trope. Environmentalism. So let me get this straight. These people isolated themselves in essentially the underworld. Well, aren't a lot of bad people gonna come down when they die then? Hello? I don't know. Well, remember, Joe, but they had a gateway closed, so, so, so supposedly no one would be able to get through. The problem is, of course, um, is that... Pedro, uh... Pedro, 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 the gateway is to keep topsiders out. Not people who are actually dead, though, from what they said. Also, oh. also, guys, 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 you're doing it all wrong. You need to do it the Wakanda way if you truly want to be out of sight, out of mind. Well, these guys seem to have some sort of technology with the crystals. Yeah, they do. You'll see. Of course. So yeah, Shane. Of course, yeah, so yeah, Shane has to um, steal the clavis from the girl so that they he can they can all not you know upset the oh. natural balance of Agarfa. Mm -hmm. Because these mm -hmm. filthy humans have come here to destroy <laughs> our nature. Rubble, rubble, rubble. Yeah, how dare you they? You know, you ever stop to realize that they may do more damage trying to get to your nation? And now he cut his hair for some reason. I don't understand why but whatever oh look at this guy um <laughs> jesus man uh yeah i i, I get it now he likes this guy welcome to sky news in the mean in the mean uh, in, 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 in the meantime is in the meantime is why uh shinkai's wife comes into his uh, works uh office and, and he's jacking off to to the sky uh posters and like ah honey uh uh, uh. Hey, Siri, it's like, it's like that's that not what you think it's like that joke from Rock the Week. Welcome to Sky News. At the what moment, the... the sky is blue. Hey, 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 maybe that's what he, maybe that's what he does every time. Um, it's uh, every every time in the bedroom, he sticks uh, a, a, a picture of the sky in his wife's head or something. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, he has um, he has one of those more hot potatoes. <laughs> well, what, what can you say? Everyone has their wife. Toriyama has lightning. Shinkai has a skybox. Yeah, I guess. they could combine the two. Lightning in the sky. Anyway, more hot potatoes. Have these guys eaten all, only hot potatoes? That's, That's all, all he brought up, make, apparently. Yeah. We're in the underworld, where we are as close to death as ever. But yeah, and all you know how it is to make potatoes. Of, uh, to be fair, he actually made a joke of eating Mimi. But he was only <laughs> so yeah. The basic gist of it is that uh, these two were not supposed to be here because uh, we're not. We don't allow topsiders, aka normal humans here. So now Shane must uh, take their 
Plav is away, so they will never be able to get in here ever again. So I'm look, gonna... look, 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 look. He 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 blot a cigar in the ground. Look, look, look how horrible to nature us humans are. Yeah, very nice. Though. So wait, I'm confused. So does this mean that this actually is not the underworld? Well, the whole oh, underworld flashback. This is important. We are getting your flashback with uh, his wife. Who? There you go. Yeah. It's in here. Hmm. Well, you know, at least it's good that I'm alive right here right now and I'm nursing you back to health. So yeah, the music box was his wife's. He was married to a music box? No, no the, the, the music had box a music was box the And he kept it. And he kept it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. And then he married the music box. <laughs> Let me guess, it turned out his wife faked his death because she had to return somewhere. No, no, this she just. Art she, she, style she, is different from before. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very it, whiny now. Yeah, it, it reminds to, me of Akira Chronicles. It's to indicate the flashback. The, the the way this movie works in terms of art style is that every time we go into a flashback, uh, it changes to that line like art style too. It's 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 the equivalent of a black and white thing that one for a flashback. Mm -hmm. Like, it's his way of doing the flashback stuff. Oh no. So yeah, basically, the wife died during the war. Because she got ill. Insert name here, illness. How ironic. He's in the middle of a war. Oh, oh. wait. <laughs> so what happened was that she was sick in bed and she fell over and that killed her. How ironic. He was in a war, survived. She was in bed, dies from keeling over accidentally onto glass. Oh, she was already sick anyway, so... Oh, wait, so she committed suicide. No, no, more like she collapsed because of her illness. So there you go, this is the parallel between... Are you horribly allergic to glass? But some, some things don't it's check weird. out. It's weird the, the way the war was presented, it was like the early 19, 1920s or 30s. Uh, like, but, well, like, okay. These stories seem to be most supposed to be taking place in the 80s. My guess Apparently, is that... Yeah. The... My guess is that this is from like World War Two, probably. Yeah, but maybe yeah. The the the, the that um, the teacher soldier guy should be more incredibly old though. Well, in okay, 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 okay. It depends. Like I said, too, uh, maybe this is maybe this is all takes place in the eighties, like Jova said. Yeah, mm. true. Because this seems to take place around a similar time date that like Kiki's delivery service did, you know, because that whatever, girl was trying just, to make uh, her own radio anyway. Whatever, it's war. That's all you need to know. Sure. Link's awakening. Tally ho! So yeah, basically, obviously, we've established um, the sky is beautiful. The, not just that, but uh, uh, we also I suddenly... see, look, she's enchanted by the you know... sky. Oh, oh, right, what? I forgot. Uh, okay, let's uh, get back to this. That's uh, who she's falling in love with. It's the sky. Uh, hello there. This particular airship is also very castle in the uh, sky ish. Welcome to Atlantis. It's very. Mm. I look at it, again. it, it looks that... a lot like something, but I can't say because that would spoil something for the group. It's when, uh, uh, like said... Shin, what are you doing here? I mean, oh wait, that... that's right, he's Sorry. dead. Holy shit! Ah. It was just a dream, <laughs> just a dream you're having a in the underworld. A horror dream. Okay, if, I, if I'm going to be honest, I do like the way she's animated in this particular scene. Uh oh, oh wait, that's stranding. Holy uh, shit, that's that. It is Death Stranding. Kojima guest directed this bit. With a bit of help from Gilmel del Toro. Why are the most horrifying uh, scenes some Mimi! Of the I knew it! Anime? I knew it! I knew it! Mimi's a double agent! There you uh, go. Uh, Creature. That's what's going on. It's these creatures. Those are literally the shadows from oh, House no. Moving Castle. No, Mimi, no! no. Mimi's dead, no! So yeah, these creatures are gonna kidnap Azuna. How did you sleep through that, dude? Actually, um... I think it was part of her powers, making the victim uh, not knowing yeah. what was happening. But yeah, like I was trying to say, uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying he's not putting his own little touches here and there. However, I don't think he went far enough with it, with, with that. I think he's relying a bit too much on the Ghibli tropes and formulas. I wouldn't say he's oh, relying. Oh. I guess it's that well, he's literally just doing this. Also, maybe as a way to try and move away from his trauma for this one. I and get I would, that. But I, wouldn't I think fault... your name did a much better job of that, honestly, yeah. if you ask me. I wouldn't fault him for trying. And honestly, I mean, aside from that, if that's the worst problem with this movie, I'd say it's still a pretty good one. Uh, it is. It's just that um, girl. Careful where you're crying. It. Oh, you know what? Never mind. 
even though I'm, I'm even though I, I'm not as, as much of a fan of your name as everybody else, I still think that movie was a far better attempt at. Um... Oh crap! What the? Fuck? So she was kidnapped, and the next thing she wakes up, she was a little crying preaching girl. Yeah, I don't trust her. You can't trust anyone, especially not, not a cute yourself, little but... random pigtailed girl you see there, who is the cutest little thing ever. Actually, yeah, she's sorry, not the cute. Children in movies that have some of the imagery we've seen should not be trusted and uh, should probably be, uh, well, locked away. And well, now we're in one of the areas from Last Guardian. <laughs> but we don't have a bird dog. Oh. Oh. More hmm? shadow creatures. Oh. oh boy. But why would they have brought her here but not do anything? Mm. Well done, Joe, let's see. Food for later. Oh, I'm just musing out loud. They bought food for the mother. Ah. Maybe the girl it's is dinner time. Maybe the girl was supposed to be dessert and she and the Azuna was supposed to be the main course. Mm. Or maybe the girl was supposed to be an appetizer and Azuma was supposed to be the main course. Whatever, same, different order, same thing. <laughs> Fortunately, he has Jedi powers and he can feel the clavis somehow. Does he have? Maybe he has a clavis uh... that reacts to other clavises nearby. It's fantasy. Just roll with it. Also, oh, shit, uh... he's pretty obsessed with this clavis. Let me guess. Oh, remember, they... well, no, Joe, we already established. He needs to take the clavis away from the top siders and. Let me guess. So he... Those shadowy things cannot go into light. Um, you're on the right, um, yeah, very good, Jova. Very huh, good. suck. <laughs> and they're pretty slow, too. Yeah. Come on, step it up. One's about to grab her on the ankle, isn't it? Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, wait, let me guess. Those are probably the souls of the undead who have lost their minds and are now the just sun in... is setting, Oh, so God, we're fucked. Wait, what happens if the sun sets? They cannot walk on the light, Dwibs. So we're relying on the sun, but the sun is about to set, so yeah. Ha! Things need uh, ghost bodies. Oh, oh let me guess. They can climb on any surface as long as it's embedded in shadow. Here we go. No, it... Oh, it is Shin, right. Remember, Shun is the, the twin who dies. Because Joe is not called Chin, otherwise I've made plenty of Hong Kong 97 jokes. It's Chin with an S, so no. Ah. I love how you're so casual about it. Hey, uh, hey, at least he's being encouraging for once. Well, again, well, Teo, that's yet another uh, Studio Ghibli yeah, checklist. Yeah. That, that was is... weird. <laughs> eh. Jeez, that moment in Polio is amazing. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, now you can move fast, you lazy slowpokes! Pull a Thomas to take engine and cross! We don't, don't, don't! Did we crush the little girl? <laughs> Even the monsters are like, what the fuck just happened? Then <laughs> he was too! Let's keep running! No time for shipping! Oh, the sun. God damn it, son! Stop setting! <laughs> God dang it! Come on, Celestia! Maybe you could slow down the sun just a little bit! Jova, 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 expecting Celestia to do anything. I'm not touching really that with a 10 foot pole. You're right. You know, it was better when Luna tried both jobs. Yeah, she was exhausted, but at least she actually listens to our citizens more. So, now what? Kid. Yeah, remember. Yeah, maybe. Ooh, ah. Oh, snap. Okay, so darkness gives them power. They're rather well, creatures of the night, so. But we still have to figure out why they didn't just take advantage when it was clearly dark and they carried her off. My guess is, again, they were saving her for Wait, later. It, that never gets explained? Not really. Ow. That's going to haunt me. Like, I mean, they're so determined to get her, why didn't they just get what they want from her? Mm hmm? 
What oh. the? Huh? Crap. Holy shit, so much blood. Did he get killed? Uh. Uh, oh. These things don't fuck about. Yep. Uh, you come here often. Bye. Okay, bye. I bet they can't swim, can they? These creatures seem to be so accepting of everything that's happening. Uh, well, I wonder, maybe they weren't trying to... Actually, we don't know what they went with her. Maybe it had to do with what they do went from her, why they didn't do whatever maybe they wanted to do. Maybe this kid is secretly evil, and they're just trying to protect the little girls, I guess. <laughs> maybe. Look how Hopeful. birds are singing, and the sky is gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> Hopeful. Yeah, as it is written, you're the hero. So, yeah, them. we're yeah. officially in a world where if you're so much as in shadow, you're screwed. I mean, he's still alive. Because, of course, it is. What? And, and as in a washed up ashore. What? I am so confused right now. More like about the geography. No, 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 no. Where not... the hell have you been? No, no, not it's just that. It's a magical river. I'm confused. Where the heck is Shun? Where the heck's the girl? Why did the it's shadows... It's actually. Shun is the one who died. <laughs> God, oh. it's, again, so confusing. It was oh, the there he is. Here we are. Okay, okay, okay. That answers that question. Still, I'm confused. What do the... Okay. Maybe it has to do with what the shadows want, but... Um, something's up. There has to be oh, some reason. Listen here. So... Again, I still hold the theory that they want Jose. Oh, uh, look. Oh, uh, look, Jova. Look. We saved the little girl who's who's uh, one of the daughters of the village. You know what this means? This proves that we're not so evil after all. Of course. You humans bar all in so Bargain prize. And I guess they owe us a favor? <laughs> and even the horse. Uh, okay, dude, stop. You're gonna be that one who doesn't help anything, aren't you? Get the fuck out of here. That dang <laughs> piano. Yeah. But at least it's not pretentious. But... I guess. Also, you both of you need to stop rushing into things. I mean, sure, he pulled out the gun, but that was more of a defensive maneuver. That kid just charged him. Okay, as, as long as I get back my wife, who I don't care. <laughs> Is he gonna so, live till later or something? So, either A, he'll get his wife back, B, his wife will actually be evil, or C, he'll stay with his wife when it turns out he can't bring her back with him. My, I will take D, he turns out to be a late, um, last minute villain who gets killed unceremoniously. <laughs> you want that to happen? Oh, that one, would... look how wonderful uh, Agatha Tio, is. You do know that means that he would be pulling a Bernard, then. <laughs> <laughs> and last I saw, that left you. Let's count how many cards are there in the sky right now. Let's see. There's one, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen. There's about one hundred and eighty three clouds there. How would you arrive at that number? Well, it's simple. I didn't. You ask just can. Basically, I studied the amount of clouds up on the lateral plane. Then I counted them across, multiplied them, and then took away a bit, taking into consideration so, yeah, the like curve. I was saying... Oh, magi, <laughs> the magi. So yeah, like... <laughs> so, so, so yeah, like I was saying, now that we've saved that little girl who belongs to this village, maybe now they'll see that we're not so evil after all. Let's not see. before we go through some some trials. Oh, the girl's mute. Stop right there. Hope there in the name of my royal accent. <laughs> Now get the fuck out. Yes, we are. Well, at least they're letting us go. No, I love how we're oh. not even listening to her. <laughs> um, what are you saying? Shut up, I'm talking to myself. Wait, is he from oh, a rival? Uh, Mark Hamill? <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, oh my god! Looks like Luke in episode 8. <laughs> this is not gonna go how you think it is. Also, these guys say they can't take Shun and what? Is he from a rival village or something? 
Mm. No, it's not that. You'll see. Because they talked about he's from this, and then all of a sudden they acted all weird. Well, well you'll see. You'll see. Listen. Mm-hmm. Just, just Actually, listen when we explain. To this place. We're going to go in and explain everything. CGI oh, boy. Windmill. Let me guess. This is the Wind Village. Yes, we're in Avatar now. <laughs> The only thing that'll forever be damaged is his oh, pride. Oh, oh. Now that what if really can... is Mark Hamill! Actually reminds me now a bit more of the grandpa from Heidi. Yeah, me as well. Oh wait, hold even on. The, even the, 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 the clothes remind me a bit of him. Well, remember to, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Are they actually explaining stuff about those shadowy things now? Yes. Oh! No. Oh, <laughs> Hmm? Racism! Anyway, oh shit! Oh. Anyway, well, remember too, the the director of the Heidi anime was his Atakahata. So true, true. So this is his little uh not a tribute to his Atakahata, aka oh, yeah. the other the other Ghibli master aside from Yasuo. Oh, on, lore. Napoleon. Hitler. <laughs> wow. Napoleon. Every evil person in the world tried to so... steal the knowledge of Agartha. Why Hitler? Because evil. The human, the top centers are evil, that you know. Of course. Also, uh, also, Dweebs. Uh, Dweebs, uh, Dweebs. Uh, is there a downfall parody that discusses Hitler's afraid of time to invade Agartha? Also. <laughs> also. Mm, Actually, since Dweebs, since Dweebs makes those, I think he'll be the one to do it now. Oh, yes. and, and of course. <laughs> That's what well, even worse than when I try to invade Agartha. Also, Dwibs, Dwibs, Dwibs. As, mm -hmm. as both DC Comics and Marvel have both established, Hitler was into a lot of mystical stuff. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so, oh. also, the girl's name is Mana. Is, is there a legend of her? Like, there's a legend of Zelda? <laughs> so you're saying she turns oh, into a the... tree? Yes, Dwibs. She turns into a tree and she will become the Mana is goddess. Is that a goat? Maybe goat? Yes, it is. So, let's continue with the Heidi thing. Well, uh... <laughs> oh my... Mimi, that's not very polite. Come on. Hang on, sorry, I must have missed something. I thought it was cat. <laughs> I just love yeah, it. No, the cat, no, the cat, the cat did not die. It just, got, it just got injured. The cat is very <laughs> resilient, but I think they have lost about three of their nine lives. So but you get it, Webb. She's a magical kitty. Weird. According to uh, her... According to her teacher, Mimi's apparently a he. Whatever. It's a magical kitty. Don't question it. It's a magical cat. No, sure. It's a talking cat! No, yeah. please. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what you're referencing. I'm sorry. Sure, right. Eric Roberts. Yes, the same Eric Roberts who's in big budget movies like Dark Knight and oh, Expendables. Oh, talking about Nine Lives. No, 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 sure. There's actually yeah. a there's actually a Netflix movie called A Talking Cat, and well, let's just say, it's yeah, it's like imagine this. Yeah, like, I, I, I this the cheerful guy. Sure, right. It's a movie that looks like it was but made. Don't you see, Tail? Oh, goody. more food porn. Tail, you're forgetting that the teacher is of course torture because he lost his wife. Anyway, sure, right. Let me write this. You know, um, uh, God, you know, after last season, yeah, a talking cat looks even more low. It looks even more low budget than after really? last season. It's literally yeah. shot in someone's house. Like, I have it no idea. It like it's lower budget Hold than on. a YouTube vlog. I have no idea how they got Eric Roberts for it. <laughs> You disrupted the chi, now you must die. This guy sounds like he's doing... Where is my wife? I want my wife back. This guy sounds like he's trying to do a but mixture... But does she see it? We this... cannot, because that disturbs the natural order of things. Yes, Jova. The guy doing the professor sounds like he's trying to do a mixture of David Hayter, Stephen, Steve Blum, and I, I'd Sam Riegel. I'd say he more like Robin Atkin does. No, she didn't. Are you trying to piss them off? 
No, he's trying to be the Hollywood 80s of the uh, bunch. Beauty first, I guess. She made sure to bring her mirror with her. <laughs> At least he's honest about it. <laughs> Nakamura? Uh, old uh, the edge. Uh, he's just being tsundere. My teenage angst is strong! That's the best time I've ever heard of a male tsundere. Oh, surprised. trust me, Dave, he's very common. Again, Dwebs, it's the powerful of teenage angst. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I hope nothing goes wrong. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it will. What's... Oh, hi, Mimi. I wonder, though, what's keeping the shadow creatures out of here? Uh, from, what could get, from what I could gather from the dialogue, it's like the village is protected or something. Yeah. Mm, we still don't know why they're after them. Oh well, hopefully we'll find out later. The sky with stars mm. so... Oh wait, there's no stars out. Uh, birdies! And now we're outside the wall from Little Mermaid 2. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. You lost a daughter? Oh, right, 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 right. right. Mana is this guy's granddaughter, I guess. Yeah. yeah. We're so, doing the Pandora's Box uh, tradition of skipping a generation. Let me guess, let me guess. The mother and father, because they were topsiders, like... Actually, no, one of them must have been from underground. Yeah. Oh, Mew wants to stay back. What? There you go, Tell. Turns out she really was a guardian spirit of sorts. Oh no, but you're the team pet. You were the last guardian, Mimi! And now I... it's across the river sticks, I guess. Just look at the sky, that will make you feel better. Oh, and Mimi is still there. Yeah. What? I can't hear you. Well, that was a bit out of nowhere, but okay. <laughs> uh, okay, now that's pretentious music. So, uh... Look at the water reflection. That sucks. Also, yeah, th that's another thing we need to point out. Agartha is very in ruin. Yeah, like, even the characters are pointing that out. There seems to be stuff, but more stuff that we don't know. Like uh, there was a civilization it collapsed and uh, or it was, it, it was that player who destroyed everything. <laughs> Wouldn't it, you know, wouldn't it be ironic if it turns out that these people who speak oh so badly about topsiders, like, they had a war themselves down here and that's why... Again, Joe, uh, again, it would be fitting with the mythos of Atlantis. Uh, they brought yeah. destruction to themselves. What the... I really quite seriously question oh. this right now. Um, you know, not for nothing, but we're a little too far to be questioning that. Yeah. Well, remember, well, remember that's what the, the old man was trying to tell us earlier. He was trying to tell, you shouldn't, that's against, against the natural order of things, all that shit. You should try to move on from them. Holy from... shit, these guys are so persistent. Fair, you see her? So we got okay. zombies? Basically, basically, Joe, but those things like to attack, to eat outsiders. That's uh, sorry, topsiders. That's basic, the basic gist of it. But so they, they, did... just, they appeared uh, in any shadowy or dark surface. So what was because that... that's, that's how they are. So why didn't they just eat her when they clearly had her? Hmm. Because Again, Joe, maybe they were just saving her for later. I don't know. Like mm. the like the the AT at the beginning of episode five. I think the yeah. pro... well, Wait, the... Mimi died. 
Are you kidding me? Why even? Also, isn't this the underworld anyway? Wait, she's died again or... I don't even know. No, I get what they mean. I get what they meant. Uh, the, it, its purpose is fulfilled, so I guess it's like yeah, a robot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Mimi's I think... role was to lead uh, Azuna and uh, to hear... So, that... Mimi is the equivalent of Daj in Final Fantasy thirteen, and it's been turned into Crystal equivalent. Yeah, Holy basically. shit. So, essentially, what when the... you complete your purpose, you're dead. Uh, what the fuck? And now it's a shade from near. No, okay, this is where uh, he's gonna... Uh, th oh, hi, uh, Castle! Oh, hi, Castle from the sky! Uh... uh Shiroi? What the this, fuck? This giant... This giant is... This is a... Don't worry, this is one of the things... Like, uh, did it keep... <laughs> uh... It's a, it's a combination of Mononoke and Castle in the Sky, this particular creature. <laughs> well, I, I get the Mononoke um, and go put... I'm not quite getting the castle in the sky one. It's the coloring, the overall coloring. Oh, it that. feels very feels very similar to the creatures in the in the castle. So wait, Mimi's purpose was to protect Azuna no, no, to, 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 to guide Azuna here, and and since the garden spirit is fulfilled, the guard uh, its purpose now it dies. Basically. Which means Azuna was supposed to learn something here. Exactly. Huh? Well, not so much that uh, learned something here. She she has a, a a role to play in all this, basically. Uh, uh oh. They're going to kill them, aren't they? Well, at least try. But yeah, it seems like this kid is from a different town or something than these people. I guess they're different districts, but yeah, yes. And apparently, those turban wearing guys are now after Azuna. Yeah, but but like yeah, like you said, he's gonna repay his debt. Since uh, Zuna saved him, he's gonna save her. This is gonna be a recurring thing. One saves one, one saves the other because they owe him, and back and forth. Boy meets girl, girl meets boy. They save each other a couple times. You were my dream come true, yeah. yeah. You know, hmm, I have to wonder honestly. Oh god, I lost my train of thought there. Uh. I had to wonder if maybe also Mimi stayed behind because she knew she was, he knew he was going to die. Probably. So he didn't want Azuna to have to suffer it. Probably. Yeah, Zoko. Also, you're gonna get pneumonia by standing there under the rain. You um, see, this is what, see, this is the horribleness of rain. It ruins the sky. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we found them. And they have guns. <laughs> Wait, oh, are you top? I thought only topside had said that. Hypocrites! Actually, th those that seem to be muskets so instead of. And here's yeah. a movie. <laughs> Meet the future! Basic and Jova. Shin's village is more pacific, but this particular village is more. Uh, Violent. Russia, Sorry, Russia. What I miss? Mimi died. Uh, Mimi died. Oh! <laughs> and, Basically, no. and then Mimi got Basically, eaten by a golem of sorts. Basically, Mimi is a garden spirit whose role was to guide Azuna here. Now that her that Mimi's purpose is done, Mimi died. And then she got gobbled up by a golem. I'm not kidding. A golem that's basically a mixture of two tropes, two tropes, tro custom, custom the sky and Mononoke. And now these guys from the village have caught up with them and are trying to kill them. Yeah. However, Shin wants to protect Azuna because, well, he sa she saved his lives. We cannot <laughs> allow evil to keep going. Now move. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Yeah, he's kind of got a bit of a strength advantage. I love how the professor is always incredibly calm at every situation. Yeah. Well, I'm guessing the guy's been preparing for this a good chunk of his life. Well, yeah, he's been looking for a guard for 10 years. Shin's gonna die too, isn't he? No, no, actually he doesn't die, don't Again, worry. Again, though, I'm confused. This is the under- Wait, maybe those shadowy people still are. Jova, Jova, the shadow people are now dropped from the rest of the movie. Don't bother more oh, thinking really? more about oh. them. Oh, well, okay, that's a they bit were let down. Though. Yeah, they were interesting, and I'm still confused. And I thought, oh, maybe the shadow people are, are the. Uh... That's a bit unfair. Yeah. <laughs> and like I thought, maybe the shadow people are, you know, the actual dead souls. But no, because again, this is supposed to be the underworld. Yet we haven't seen any dead souls here, just living people. 
Maybe they're the souls of humans oh. who died here. Oh, oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! No, no, no! And now we're god. making a beef, so... Pedro! No, 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 no! Guys, guys, guys! Yeah. That is... Limitations. That is literally the alternate dimension from Place Promised. No, seriously. It's got the same yeah, circle in it's it. All, yeah, yeah, and the and basically, Jova, in the climax of your name, there's also a crater that looks suspiciously a lot like this one as well. Yeah. Mm. So wait, so this actually you see is a lot of set crater, by the way. So this actually is in the same universe as Place Promised. I wonder. It's not as obvious though, but for all we know, maybe it's just similar in visually, but it's never quite mm. confirmed if it is. Maybe or not. something similar to what the Fumito what, Ueda what, games yeah, are. Yeah, what, 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 what does. The loosely. But uh, you need to figure out the pieces. So, of course, we have to go down. We have to go deeper. Are you having... Um, Boy, you know, this is going to be so fun to tell your mother what you did at school today. You know, guys, you're probably eventually going to lose your grip anyway, so you might as well just jump. I'm sure her memories will be thoroughly wiped before she heads back home, Jova. Also, I still maintain oh, that this yeah. place operates on a different timeline, and she will still be home before six. <laughs> She's gonna need a bit of therapy. Again, memory erasing. Mm. Let's see. It's boy. It's a good thing she doesn't know that Mimi died. True. Was she never, uh, the, she never recover? The triggering of your memories fills you with determination. Wait, let me get. I was gonna say courage, just to ah. deliberately avoid that. Oh wow, he's actually holding out still. Well, you just had to call the Jova. Yeah, you're jinxing it now. No, no, no. They're probably gonna go all Zach on this guy. Isn't the sky pretty? Yes. Yeah. Loving the, the sword design, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, that's one thing that's... Oh, even your name... so it turns out he was the disgraced soldier? For yeah, something? yeah, the, yeah Gar Garden of the Words suckage did not get help by the lack of Tenmon either. Shinka should have continued working with Tenmon. <laughs> Tenmon, so Tenmon, to Ten, Tenmon. Tenmon's music works fits so well with uh, Shinkai's movies. I really wish he had kept this part in the partnership with Tenmon. They're still mentioning the Azoko. Yeah. So, Aww. fuck off, sir. You want me to go Aww. all so, this yeah, way but, back? But so, yeah, you go back home. I'll. Because I won't leave without my waifu. You do know that uh, reading her back there are <laughs> soldiers who want to kill her, evil shadows who want to eat her. Oh, yeah, and the news that her cat is dead. Well, okay, uh, to be fair, he doesn't know about the cat being dead, but all the same, dude, what the hell? Eh? Hmm? Any last words? Oh, of course, well, no, there's no way anyone survived that. To be sure. Well, humans well, are weak. Well, remember, too, did you notice that the sky, sorry, did you notice know that the sun is almost um, Anyway, anyway, true. so what are they saying about the clavis? Basically, they've realized that um, they, there's no way the humans can. They've since the clavis is done that uh, crater, and oh, at this point, the humans can make it back. We're fine. You know, humans are inferior, and uh, yeah, they are yeah. humans themselves anyway. No, they're not, Jova. They're well. I design uh, think, think of it think of um ancient atlantis logic yeah still yeah. humans who retreated from the rest of the world well the, because the, well, that's well, because that's the thing, made, if humanity yeah. didn't create hitler we wouldn't not just that <laughs> they being so high themselves exactly so they're glorified hipsters basically Pretty much. <laughs> huh? well shit oh. oh you lied to us pedro well, what I mean is, like, in terms of story. Yeah, they're yeah. still there, though, and don't worry, though, we're in the daylight. Well, uh, r r regardless, the point is, they, they're they sure that the night creatures will take care of the topsiders anyway, so, ah, eh, whatever. No need to, well, to dirty our hands. All right, just search. Well, uh, actually, I don't know, you should stay where it's sunny. Well, I guess she thinks that they cannot enter the water. They can, though. They were peering at her from a boat. And that's probably them whispering. 
They're just waiting um, for the other side. Whispering what, then? Eat your oval team? <laughs> In the meantime, uh, Mar Mr. Morizaki is still climbing down to see if he can yeah, finally yeah, climb. Yeah, like, dude. Again, again, again. It's literally the tell, opposite. Tell, tell, tell. The power of boner uh, yeah. is... The power of boner is making you do this stupid shit. Anyway... Anyway, like I said, it's literally the opposite of Place Promise. Yeah, I go, instead of an endless climb up, now this is an endless climb down. Ah. <laughs> Bye. And this oh, is how it... You lucky son of a bitch. You are so lucky. How did he not die from that fall? Yeah, it wasn't too far from where he fell. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't too uh, it wasn't really high. At he worst, didn't have any fingernails yet, though. Actually. Well, he broke his leg. So. There, you go, he broke, there you go. He broke his leg. Yeah. So it's, was... all, so it's already so it's already more of a consequence than oh, David Cage. Oh, something jammed into it. Okay. Oh, let, me, ah. let me remind every let me remind everybody that character in Heavy Rain fell from the top of the building and just got up with no problem. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's so yeah. Shinkai at the very least is, has more sense of how the human wow. body works it, it, than it, it, David Cage does. Like I love how he just got up and managed to um, walk look, away. This look, Okay. A, a little break to admire the sky. Okay. Please. I will say this, though. I feel like the movie's kind of lost the plot here. It did, yeah. Like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna he, be... He, a lot of his movies seem to follow that towards the latter yeah. half. Yeah, they, they Even his better just... ones. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, the animation is still gorgeous, but at this point, okay, yeah, again, these guys are here again. Why don't you just eat her? Unless I'm right about it's there being so a plot... That. Hold on, let me finish. Unless I'm right about there being a plot twist involving them. There isn't. Uh, it, it, it's not even so much that, Jova. There is going to be a big moral, and the movie's going to make very clear what the moral is. The problem is that, it, and I'll bring it up earlier, it, I, I don't think a two-hour movie was in, was necessary just to tell a moral so simple as the one this yeah. movie's going to My main issue is like, well, okay, you know, again, you know, for the most part, up until like the latter half, we were getting a good amount of information here and there. But now, I'm like, okay, the Azoki eat Pete Topsiders. Why didn't they eat her when they had the chance, especially when they've been so determined otherwise? That's never explained. Also, what the heck is going on now? Like, is it like we're following what's going on between Shun and what's happening for her and what's happening with her yeah. professor? It's like, again, I mean, if the plot had just stayed on the track, not to mention now there's this hinting that there may be some alternate reason for her to have come here that she doesn't know about. And then, also, her turning back, doesn't that kind of make her cats dying pointless? Unless, okay, maybe there's a twist involving that. The problem well, is that... Again, the cat had a purpose to fill, and they fulfilled it, so... But that's the problem. Died. That's the problem, though, Shuri. If she's just going to turn back now, that would effectively make Mimi's death pointless since her... Sky! Oh, my... <laughs> God. Okay, the sky better have a plot reason at this point. Like... It's it's not it's it's not it's not even just that Jova. Sky's a new character. My theory, Jova, is that uh, Shinkai was focusing way too much on paying homage to his favorite Ghibli tropes rather than actually telling a worthwhile story. That's well, the big honestly, problem honestly, here. honestly, Pedro. At this point, it's not even really Ghibli because okay, look, you okay? The idea with Ghibli is that you start off confused, but you know, at least by the halfway point, you get the general uh, gist of how the world works. Yeah. Here, honestly, though. Sometimes... Oh, sorry. Here, though, I'm I'm even more confused. Like, originally I thought, oh, maybe this is just the underworld, but no, all we've seen is living people who apparently used to be uh -oh. topsiders, but now hate and are done with these shadow people, but yeah. Like yeah, I said, sometimes... that's why I said that Your Name is was his best movie since Five Centimeters, if you ask me, because Your Name, uh, while, I, while it could have used some more uh, character building up uh, before we get to the climax, I still think it was a pretty good movie that did manage to uh, get accomplish what it set out to do. Oh, shit. This, this movie, on the other hand, feels, uh, feels a bit like it's too focused on, oh, look how much I love Ghibli. Honestly, yeah, not... Thing. Honestly, Pedro, not even that, oh, because... Geez, the gun it... guys. Oh. What? Honestly, Pedro, it's not even time... just about of he loves Ghibli, because even here again, it's not even really feeling that Ghibli-esque at this point, because I'm more confused than anything, and normally with Ghibli films, I get what's going on, and even then, okay, we've got the tropes, but okay, no, it's not no like he's done anything real new. A point blank range. Well, she's a, she's a, she's a little girl, Dwebs, come on, give her a break. Anyway, with no experience go, go, at all. And go she ahead, is Shira. being choked, trust a me, Dwebs. A lot Dibs. of the time, oh, the story seems to disappear on its own ass. Oh, and... uh, uh, 
His no, like no, 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 it was pieces. not just all a dream, you piece of- At least of... I get to die. Oh. Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Is this how Shinkai wants to die or something? Yes. Oh, suddenly music <laughs> just suddenly cuts in. Literally. And then, and then what, what if you accidentally cut her it off? Wait, you could have just cut these things all along with your dagger? <laughs> Why didn't, didn't you do? Why? Why Look didn't how you? Badass I am. Why didn't you do that before? Because Jove, I was waiting for my big badass entry. And the sun makes them melt. Of course. Well, remember, they're we already established this. They were weak against the sun. That was incredibly lucky. Okay. Wait. Hold so, on. Oh, right, no Ishin. Was that a face in the sky? And now let's take a break <laughs> to admire the sky. Again. Oh, and it's like the ending for Cat Returns. The big problem here is that... Oh, okay. They're going to establish a romance now, aren't they? Shinkai-san, don't get me wrong. I like you, but uh, stick to what you know. You're not very good at this whole Ghibli formula thing. Honestly, honestly, honestly... Honestly, Pedro, he is pretty good at it. The problem is, like, well... He just needed a bit of a better direction here. Like, you know what's a sad thing? It's like, oh, you know, up until recently, he was handling it just fine, and I was legit enjoying it. In fact, I still probably will enjoy this film overall. I mean, now, thankfully, it's yeah, not... Yeah, the movie's fine. It's not bad. Let, it's let just... Let me finish, let me finish. The uh, deal is like... Cluster. Yeah, but I wouldn't even call... It... Okay, it's like, oh, it's this last act that's lackluster, which makes it stand out, because for the most part... Aww. What? Don't cry, you're gonna I'm make me cry. Tsundere right to the end. It's like the opposite of the uh, Sonic 06 ending. <laughs> Everyone's just crying on the grass. Why are they just crying? Just cry! <laughs> <laughs> eh? What's the cloud coming up through? Oh, the, the airship. Okay, also, is... Also, did that guy find his waifu? <laughs> we don't know yet, Shiroi. The That's... war may never know. Don't worry, Shiroi. We'll get we'll, we'll that uh, itself. will also get a payoff. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. We're not done yet. Wait. Are we... So mm -hmm. let me guess. That ship is where all the dead there spirits are on. That's the ship. That's the key to all of this. So the way the underworld so works. So get there, Bill? So the way the way the underworld works is that like all the dead fly on a ship. We only have sixty minutes. Come on, guys. Let's go. Oh, I get it. The wind current propels you uh, to that. Oh, hey, there's a golem that ate Mimi. Uh, I guess. Bye. It's, Bye. it's one of those, notice how it has a uh, greenish uh, uh, stuff on it. That's what. That's the part of it that reminds me a lot of the creatures from Castle in the Sky. Uh, moss, and of, uh, that and the moss. That's it. And of course the thing, and of course the fact that it eats things with the creepy mouth. That's one and okay, obviously. Mm -hmm. One hundred bottles of beer on the wall. Well, you actually almost at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, it's like he just gently just walk the earth. Uh, Hell, he finally made it to the bottom. Oh, and now we're in Metal Gear Solid Three, I guess. <laughs> Fortunately, Joe, I can assure you that. Uh, oh, but wait, okay. hold on. If the dead spirit's on the ship, then what's down here? Maybe the opposite? Wait, what? How's there a sky down here? Unless we just cut to a different scene. No! Because sky, because sky is everywhere, Jova. The Wait. sky knows and rules all. Hmm. This is anyway. Weird. Anyway, Jova, well, I can assure you that while I don't think the movie is the masterpiece that a lot of people make it out to be, I can assure you that what? your name... Uh, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see what, don't, don't, don't worry, you'll see what that is. Ladies and gentlemen, I do believe we have found the plot hole. Um. <laughs> I thought that was the crater in the ground. What the? It's... What are you doing? What a lovely singing voice you have here. Well, Java, I can assure you that your name is a far better attempt of his at merging his own style with an epic fantasy. Oh, I have no doubts about that. In fact, I'm actually looking forward to seeing how the... Heck, you can get more fantastical than this simply body swap. Not so. No, no, no. The movie doesn't go overboard with its fan fantasy themes. Don't worry. It's mostly used as a big uh, justification for the the love the, the love story between the Weird, two characters. Because I thought the main focus was just that you spend time in each other's bodies to get to know them better. There's also well, that is, yeah, yeah, that is part of it. But of course, we need to, some kind uh... of fantasy reason for why the change even happened. What are you doing? Also, ass. 
So basically, he's in the wrong area. Apparent, so apparently, the actual place where the dead are is on a ship. So what's down there? So yeah, it turns out. Oh wait! Oh! oh my god! Oh, that's Turn it. Oh my god. Turns out this golem is gonna help them carry them, uh, okay. help them go there by oh. carrying them in his belly, basically. Oh. I did not sign up for this ride. <laughs> Wait, maybe quick before they digest. So let me get this straight. It's okay, to, it whips. This golem doesn't digest things, fortunately. So let me get this straight. Wait. What? Uh, but wait, what? What happened I to the golem? Isn't it beautiful, too? Well, Jova, if he was Lens a player, and they, and they Jova, Jova, if he was a golem, he would probably be made of clay, so water will destroy it. Then why can they have just... Oh, what, whatever. Hmm? Oh, so the ship stops here? Okay, that's was enough. Let's the sky the was car so bright. <laughs> the colors feel so right. I've never felt uh, like this. Jova, I'll keep Jova, Jova, on Jova, running. Jova, 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 Jova. Jova. Well, because... come on, Drew. We won't get copyrighted it... by Sega Jova, for that. Come on. Yeah, no, I know, oh, but Jova, the problem with you is sometimes you end up singing the whole song. When have I ever sung the whole song? Whatever. Can you imagine what, the... what he's going to be on. like when we get to and the purpose. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. That, that looked like it was in the shape of a steak you used for vampires. So Actually, wait. that's the, the common uh, ship of a priest. What the... It... The huh? ship was a transformer, which means we've been duped. That looks so much like one of the airships from Ka whatever. Oh well, well, no doubt, Pedro. What? I mean, you know, like a you know, Ghibli style. At this point, it's easier to name stuff that isn't a reference to Ghibli. Oh. Uh. Oh my God. Akira. It's Dark Sanctuary. Demise. A god oh. Was gods. So basically, it's Satan. So I was right! I was right! It God turns... is not pleased with you, Morizaki. Uh, Pedro, Satan's the opposite of God. Well, not Whatever. So Satan is not pleased with you, Morizaki. So I was right, actually. It turns out that while the actual ship is up high, going down low just brings you to the boss of the place. Lisa. Lisa. His wife. She's oh. in there somewhere. What? Duh. Oh my god, this guy giant the no! <laughs> you know, <laughs> why not? Oh, and the fabric of reality. So, oh my god. Oh, it's a sky giant. I realize now. So, this guy must. So, Makoto Shinkai must be a big fan of Tom Holland, then. Don't touch is it. it. And I'm, pretty sure nobody, I, I'm pretty sure Tom Holland was like. What, 10 years old when this movie was made? No, not that Tom Holland page, but the Tom Holland who directed The Langoliers. Oh, that Tom Holland. Uh, uh, I know how you feel, Pedro, because when I first heard that the guy playing Spider-Man was going to be Tom Holland, I thought, wait, the guy who thought he was so big that his name could be bigger than Stephen King's on the on the backside of the... What? So not only is this a sky gina, but it comes complete with sperm. And... It's... It's his wife. Nope, it's don't buy it. So, I guess option B was right, Tio. It turns out his wife is evil. Hold on. No. Stop showing that thing. Oh, there you go. He's gonna try to sacrifice Azuna because of it. No, Tio. He's probably gonna sacrifice himself. He wouldn't be that insane, would he? So, there option you go. The... You need to make a sacrifice in order to revive the now, dead wife. Tio, Tio, Tio. I'm sure Shinkai would not be so Wait. stupid as to do option D. So we're in Full Metal Alchemist now. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so... No, no. Pedro, please tell me he's not. Oh, really? Really? Yeah, he's that selfish. So option D. There you go. <sighs> Why? Holy shit. Ew. There you go. Now her life force is going to be sucked into the, the wife. So the reason she was brought along was essentially just to be a snack. He didn't knew. He didn't knew that. Uh, honestly. Sure, he sure he didn't knew that. But the fact that he's doing it right now, though, is well, he weird. has the um, the lack of morality, yes, but true. he essentially improvised at the last minute. Okay, okay, true, true, true. What? Oh God, his wife is literally in the what girl's the? body now. Oh. Oops. Oops, you broke What the? Oh. What? 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 And now he's losing himself? No, the, the devil struck him in the eye and that happened for some. Oh, okay. 
Oh, yeah. turns out Azuna is not enough. Oh, there we go. So... The wife is now in Azuna's body. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. So, wait. So, because he accidentally stepped on the clavis, what, did that break his protection or something? Actually, he stepped on the music box, not on the Yeah. Phone. Oh, well... Oh. At this point, he just uh... wants to see his wife again. Your wife is in the body of a 15-year-old guy. You know, I was making the pedo thing for a joke. Oh, God. Sorry, Tio, they hit you. Well, uh, white people keep... Yeah. It's Japan, Tio. If it's any consolation, Tio, Please. the sky is full of stars. What is... Wait, what? We're going to destroy the clavis in order to interrupt grab, the contact with the god. the stake. Oh, there you go. He's gonna no. try. And, he's gonna try. Uh, uh, don't don't worry. Don't worry, Rose. It can't be destroyed. It just needs a few stabs. Hey, uh, Satan! You need to keep stabbing until the health gauge turn, uh, drops to zero. Hey, <laughs> Satan! You wanna try and stop the kid? Nah, Satan's just uh, enjoying this, basically. Yeah, I'm just about to... I'll just I'll just casually take my time. Holy so shit. yeah, so yeah. Obviously, he doesn't want to lose his wife, so he's gonna stop him. Well, okay, okay, okay. My first reaction was negative, but, you know, I guess it makes sense that the guy just sacrificed morality because he's that obsessed uh, with it. We're gonna get the moral in a moment, Trouble. There's a moral? Yeah. Is the moral gonna be we have to let oh, go listen, of... Listen. There what? you go. That's the moral. The living are more important to move on and you have to let go of the dead. Wait, oh, what? Now we're, now we're here. With Mimi. She and... was briefly while all while this is going oh, on. Oh, with she, Mimi she and Shun. This is the afterlife. She was briefly in the afterlife uh, with Shun while this was going while all of this was going on. But I... now that uh, Shin saved her, she can return. There you go. See, I it's the afterlife. We were... I thought we were already in the afterlife. Maybe you should have been a bit faster with your. The pro uh, you see, this is this is another problem. Shinkai is way too focused on the visuals and not enough on actually creating a coherent story. Now right? that I can agree yeah. with. It's becoming style over substance. I'll go more into Basically. it with my final thoughts. Which is a shame, because like I said, 5 Simulish per second is still his best movie to this day, if you ask me. Like, th th that movie is so uh, well-focused. Uh, like... like, okay. Yeah, we kind of got that. Vibe. You're telling me apart with Lisa. Actually, it is Lisa. Yeah, his name is, her name is Lisa, so yeah, it is. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> You know, why, Lisa, why? This movie has all the references. <laughs> so there you go, me so, so, And there you go. This is, one, this is another big problem I have. You know, you know what's an interesting thing, Jova? I showed this movie to my brother, and by the time we finally got to this point where the moral becomes, when the movie flat out states the, the moral, my brother literally went, that's it? We, I mean, we, we spent two hours in this uh, in this mess just for this. I mean, not only that, but I'm sorry. <laughs> that's. Could have done this in 25 minutes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But the living are more important. I'm sorry. That's like possibly one of the worst ways to convey the message of letting someone go. That's like, like seriously, seriously, seriously. Imagine if somebody that is was. That's how you deal with grief. Like, okay, okay, okay. Okay, now I know that this is a bit of an extreme example, but let's say for the sake of argument, somebody could have sacrificed Hitler in order for their dead loved one to be back. Would you say, oh, the living are more important? Like, I mean, seriously though, just the living are more important? I'm sorry, that's dumb. It doesn't take into account maybe the living person wants to oh, die. that's literally it. Well, remember, Teo, just like in the Studio Ghibli movie, we, oh my... end with, we end with a song while the ending is still going on. How See? are they even yeah, getting back? How yeah, are they yeah, going to yeah, yeah. get back? Yeah, it, it, feels like this is, it feels like the credits should be here. Yeah, this is a little rushing. Like, again, how are they going to get back and we're just going to gloss over it? Like, you know, at least Spirited Away, the... oh, there you go. they don't even get back? Is there an after credits scene? This is leading the water level of the I'd property. Pedro, Pedro, Pedro is... Is there an after yeah. credit scene? Uh, I think there is. Okay. okay. Oh, there, there, there you go. There you go. See, now they're doing the typical ending while the credits are going on, basically. Wait, are they even going back, or is she staying in there? I don't know. At this point, the teacher just, I guess. Uh, so no, we're gonna completely. Though. So we're gonna completely ignore the fact that the teacher nearly sacrificed uh, Zuna and nearly killed Shun. I mean Shin. But Joe, look at how beautiful the sky was. 
the final shot was the characters taking a look at the sky. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's got to be another scene after this. Hello, hello goodbye, goodbye, and hello. Yeah. That's the name of the song. Hello, goodbye, and hello. <laughs> oh, so, oh, wait, another scene. And wait, he gives he, her a he, Clovis? Let me guess. Well, he's like, uh, I thought you were. Uh, come back here once in a while. So, so that means she can. He... Does she have to take six drops, but she ends up miscounting? So that means she can come back whenever. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna save the list of things that need to be explained from my final thoughts because there's a growing list of things that need to be explained. Uh, what? Wait, Wait, the, what? The, the, Wait. the professor is staying? What? Yeah, but the I... professor is staying because, well, why not? But topsiders are not allowed! What? So now yeah, people are accepting the, the, the topsiders? The, the shadow people will still haunt him. Yeah. They changed the rules, I guess. And now she's back. Oh, one more train, for old times' sake. <laughs> yeah, just don't run on the tracks this time, please. Oh, so... goody, here we go! What was even the point of that creature oh, okay. that attacked Stop, her in the first place? <laughs> now it's Brom Pride Rock. No, 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 no. So, oh, are we ever going to establish if it was... Yeah, what was that creature that got loose on the train tracks? Uh, it was a creature that managed to escape. Uh, and, How? And it, did, it did not have a clavis. Uh. I don't know, too. I think I forgot all about uh, And his now, story. because now Azuna is going to school! There's got to be more after this. You cannot leave us with this many questions because well, I have. Well, but, Jeremy, you wanted to know whether she got back or not. And this. What a mess. I mean, you know. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Look, um, before I get into my final thoughts, I'm just going to. Actually, no, I'll save that for my final thoughts. I'm just going to look up and see if there's a stinger coming up. There isn't. I just checked. Okay. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll start with the final thoughts myself. Mm. This is a mess. Like, a beautiful mess. It's a tragic mess. mess. But I'll I, get I more to that when I get to the my first, thoughts. The first half is more consistent, though. So the problem literally starts only in the second half. Uh, if that was had more focus, it was changed enough, it would have seemed be savageable. But in the state it is. Holy shit. Mm. Like, uh, mm. I would say that I consider this movie a w worse than uh, Garden of Wars because of this. Uh, it's like, a shame, uh, too, because it started off so much better than Garden of Wars. The, 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 the clear problem, obviously, is a lack of focus. Like, yeah. uh, we don't get to see much about the society of Agartha. We get a glimpse of the fact that uh, there was supposed to be a big civilization and then there was just ruins. We don't get to see much about the civilization, the, the people in themselves, nor the creatures outside of the shadow people and the golem, which apparently Wikipedia refers as Quetzalcoatl, the it's Aztec god. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so, and even in that moral <sighs> weird. Also, <laughs> Mimi had to because because of the uh, Falsi's focus. <laughs> and falsely, if we come, to, come to think of it, this has actually has another similarity with Final Fantasy routine. The whole uh, top siders are enemies of Cocoon. That's oh pretty God. much the, that's the thing that they hammer in. Still, yeah, this was not that great. So, yeah, I, 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 to be honest, I still prefer, I would take Garden Awards over this. I and mean, I'm not yeah. saying that lightly. Yeah. Next. Uh, can I go next? Good. Okay, bearing in mind I didn't really see much of this movie because I had to burp a few times. But, um, yeah, from what I can tell, it's really inconsistent. I mean, we go from, um, we go from, you know, Calm, typical slice, slice of life, life. setups, you know, you know, just typical school stuff. To all of a sudden we're fighting monsters and we're bringing people back from the dead and it's it's like I I, I get escalation but I think I think this is is like you're supposed to do it you know step by step not rocket all your way up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you know again it is it is a pretty film but it's a Makoto Shinkai movie we should expect that at this point and the music is beautiful ten months and Rafael. the vision yeah well, I can. Well, the problem is I can I, I can't really remember his music after finishing the movie. But... 
And the thing is, like, well, like, most... Okay, if there's one thing I'll give my culture Shinkai films, except for Garden of Words, they, they seem to have pretty good, strong starts. Like, this is a thing also in place promised. It had a good start. I'll go more into depth when I get to my final thoughts. But, yeah, overall, it's, it's not... Oh, right. it's not very good. Yeah. All right, Magus, I'll go next. Oh. Shira, are you there? Uh, Shira's yeah, typing. You're oh. going to go next. Oh, okay, okay. And, okay. I guess I'll go then. Uh, for for me, it's like again, like I, like I said, I still think his best movie is Fire Simulators per second because that was the best. Uh, like it's a one hour focused movie that gets to focus on one thing <laughs> and do it excellently, and that's yeah. it. I don't think okay, okay, again. Okay. Fortunately, with your name, he was able to do the whole epic scale thing a lot better, mostly because he he said it for the climax rather than having two thirds of the movie be like that. Um, but yeah, the big problem with this movie is that it's focusing way too much on sounding beautiful, looking beautiful, and paying homage to the movies that Shinkai grew up with, specifically Ghibli movies. Style over uh, substance in a nutshell. Style, mm-hmm. Yeah, the problem is that the Ghibli movies that he's paying homage to are much better than this because behind the, all the beautiful visuals and music, there's a compelling story and interesting characters to go along with that. He, on the other hand, he just took a bunch of Ghibli cliches and smushed them together and just tried to make it all make sense at the end by, oh, the moral is, let go of the dead. Mm. That's I have it. the perfect analogy, but again, I'll say that for my final thoughts. It's, uh, it's, a. Uh... I'm going to disagree with Teo. I'll still take this over Garden of the Woods because at the, at the very least, this movie does have some really good set pieces and the characters are tolerable enough. Uh, whereas the characters in Garden of the Woods are just such horrible soap opera-ish uh, cl- jokes of characters. Characters you know, these, that we actually preferred school days over going off of the recording. Well, you did. I don't know about the others, but... No, 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 no. You um, guys agree, too. Yeah, just listen to the recording. Well, no, I think yeah. it's mostly the, the uh, school well, days whatever. did one aspect a little better. I think. Well, regardless, regardless of that, though, it, it's a movie that, uh, like, there's a good movie in here somewhere buried under all the convoluted mess of a script. Maybe that's actually the, the implied quest, Pedro. We need to get to <laughs> the Underworld to, you know, resuscitate yeah, uh, yeah. the actual that's movie. Good, the uh, sad thing is, like, well, like, where's... Like, I'll, I'll, still, I'll still take this over Garden Wars for one major reason. And this is the major reason. This movie, like... There's still a good movie somewhere in here buried under all this convoluted mess. That's a, a that's a set. That Garden oh. Garden of the Words, on the other hand, Garden of the Words didn't even have that. Garden of the Words was a shit movie from beginning to end, from the very from a lot of stuff. Like it it bailed on the most basic of levels. This movie, on the other hand, has the necessary setup. It has the it has the basic elements needed to tell a good story, but it doesn't know how to do that. Mm-hmm. Garden of Words just feels like a soap opera to me. And that's why I'll still take Garden of, this over Garden of Words. However, I can understand Teo's point. Anyway, it's a beautiful, beautiful mess. However, I'll, basically, audience, don't bother with this. Watch Studio Ghibli movies since they do this mm. these concepts so much better. And if you want and, and if you want to watch a good Shinkai movie, watch your name and five centimeters per second. Oh, well, I'd also recommend Place Promise, because that is just... Well, well, the first third of the first half of it. Honestly, 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 even the last... (laughs) Honestly, 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 I'd say from beginning to finish, if only for the entertainment value, but I'll go more. Yeah. Is that all? I will give him this, though. For for as inconsistent of the quality of his films is, one thing we have to give to Shinkai. The there's never a dull moment. Gorgeous. There's not there, that too, but there's never a dull moment with him. I mean, for as for as bad as his movies can mm, get, I don't know. The, we spend a bit of Garden of Words bored. Well, Garden of the Words was at the very least baffling and like and gave us a lot to talk about in our commentary, as we've proven. True. Like his movies, even when they even when he fails, there are always interesting failures to talk about at least. So yeah, I'll give him definitely. that. You can, there's always something, and not to mention the animation alone makes these movies at the very least uh, tolerable to watch because damn the animation, his animation is gorgeous. And I'll give him credit, um, while he has recurring themes, his movies are each different enough. Yeah, uh, anyway, so yeah, so... Um, he, it's, so yeah, even, it's a failure, but I still think it's, Noble uh, failure. Um, 
a noble failure at the very least. Garden of Words was just painful to, but uh, fun to talk about, but still painful. Go ahead, Chiroy, before Jobo finishes off. Sure. Um, I kind of want to see him go back to, because I said earlier that a lot of his movies just feel like um, moving art pieces. I think what he should do is try another story like Five Centimeters Per Second, where... That's just the thing, Shiroi. Story... Garden of the Words was supposed to be that. Remember, it was yeah. one hour long. It was a story about two lovers, and yet it's, he still fucked it up. <laughs> there was a difference, though. Oh, what was There it? was no doubt. I want him to try it. Well, at least. Very, well, actually, there was, little, but very little. Actually, there was di- plenty of mostly narration, but there was plenty of dialogue in five centimeters. I see yeah, where Shiro is coming the from. To say almost nothing again. Mm, debatable, mm. but go ahead. I see where Shiro is coming from. I think she's talking about like the second act, which is you know mainly silent because we're seeing a transition. Although I will say that I'm not quite sure if that'll really bring back the magic. Anyway, any more for well, your final thoughts, Troy? Since that's still his uh, best movie, I still think your name. Although I hear was your name good. was a pretty good final return up to form. Yeah, it was. I've, I mean, it, yeah, it's it was still good. It, I need to re. I need to rewatch it though, because I only saw it once and I didn't understand. I have not it's seen brill- it either. Five centimeters is a brilliant movie. Your name is his best movie since Five centimeters. Mm-hmm. However, it's the. However, I still think uh, it could have used 20 more minutes 20 more minutes of character build up and it would have been the ma- a masterpiece that that's all it really needed it was so let me close guess. so close let me guess the issue is that they do the body swap before we truly get to know the characters uh, yeah, in their normal no, I will talk, i'll talk about it uh, more in in context go anyway ahead, sure go on but yeah the only thing i have uh, i have to say is there are a lot of interesting ideas here particularly those uh, shadow monsters but Again, he likes to throw out a lot of ideas, but he never finishes up one before going on to another. Mm-hmm. In this movie, mm. anyway. Yeah, his movies are, well, a lot of them are a bit of a mess. Or at least, you know, they're fun to sit through still. It's weird. Mm-hmm. Whereas Place Promised is more just about a bad transitioning, it's weird. I wouldn't call it a mess because, yes... The tone shift is out of nowhere, but for the most part, at least in those phases, it stays consistent enough. This, well, this movie, though, a mess. was it's a just mess. It's incomplete, I feel. Oh, well, I actually feel that this movie is a mess, but I see where you're coming from. Go on. No, that's it. Go ahead, okay. Joe, since I know you have a lot to get off of just go ahead. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm gonna start... Feel free to leave if you want to, too, by the way. No, 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 don't worry. Yeah, you might have time afterwards. Anyway, let me start off by saying this. I came into this movie with good first impressions. See, here's the thing with Makoto Shinkai. Literally, the first movie I ever saw of his, I had doubts with because it was a romantic comedy. I made sure uh, that was the first one. So here's the deal. Makoto Shinkai, (laughs) it it was like, it was from that film alone that I got such a quite about a faith in him. Here's the weird thing, though. A lot of his movies are stuff that, oh, I think, oh, well, since this guy actually got me to like romantic stuff here, maybe he'll work here, and yet... Well, I won't say that they make me hate them, it's just, it's the opposite. Whereas I expect he would succeed with flying colors, he just doesn't. Now, I'll put it like this. I actually do legit like Place Promise, and I actually do like some of the craziness of it. I do acknowledge that that is a flaw, but at least with the Place Promise to us, you could argue that for the most part, it was filling the free act structure, and at least it didn't actively ruin anything. The problem with this movie is that Unlike Place Promise, which I could at least see being planned out, the pro- this movie is like... It's like someone who's excited to write a roleplay story. So they think of all the cool moments here, they think of how the first act is gonna go, they think about how it's gonna end, but everything in the middle is not bad out. Like... This is the main problem here, look. The, 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 this story starts off very well structured, you know? It has some daily sets of life stuff. It has some weird stuff that, okay, it's weird stuff, but we expect it's gonna get explained later on. And this is the main problem here. Like with Child of Light, this stuff it has a lot of weird words and whatnot, weird stuff, but never explains it. And I'm sorry, it's not to a point where you can say, oh, they're intentionally being vague, because there's a lot of plot crucial stuff that's not explained well. Like, okay, if the Shadow People are so determined to eat this girl, why didn't they eat her when they clearly had her? Never explained. Why didn't they eat the little girl when they had her? Never explained. Okay, so apparently there's two underworlds, because apparently Azuna was at some point dead, but... 
weren't we already in the end of the world? That's what this place has been described of. Heck, we literally see Satan who brings the teacher his wife. And yeah, okay, while it may be somewhat story related, it still is a bit weird how on a dime he's all about sacrificing this girl, even though for the most part it seemed like they were going for an arc of him protecting her. And then there's the sloppiness with her relationship with that boy Shin who gives her the clavis so that she can come back whenever. Yeah, that's another thing. Just because you have fancy artwork and this movie is gorgeous doesn't give you the excuse to have silent moments and points where we could have gotten some things explained, like in the credits. And the that moral. That maybe, moral. Uh, uh, Jova, I think one of the another problems is that maybe he's focusing way... He's masturbating to the sky way too much while he's supposed to be making sense of the plot. <laughs> uh, maybe this is why he was able to keep the focus in place, Promise Pedro, because the focus was literally reaching for the sky in that movie. Yeah, I thought he could tell. Promise Place is literally trying to get into the sky. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> this, but, guy, this guy in his uh, big boner for the sky is starting to get out of hand <laughs> yeah basically though um my deal is like this i feel that there's a good movie in here the difference is like oh unlike say mighty number no. nine where there's a good game you're buried deep deep down below what's frustrating here is that it doesn't feel like the good movie is buried that deep down like it feels like it's just literally a bit from us the problem is that it's those little things that pile up into a big blockage like, okay, like you said, it's inconsistent because in the middle part, then we're getting all these new story elements with no explanation whatsoever. I'm sorry, that's not how a Ghibli film works. You get weirded out, but they eventually explain how the world works, so then you actually get a weird sense of, well, common sense of the realm. It's how you keep the audience engaged. You don't want them to be confused saying it's just artsy. That excuse ran out years ago. Like, even mm -hmm. Stanley Kubrick didn't do that, even though a lot of people think he did. Yeah, Again, though. How... Well, two th I can see that for 2001. Is that a movie, though? Not really. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, it's just, it's a shame, though, because this movie started off promising. It's just, I'm just left disappointed. You know, at least with Tomorrowland, mm. at least with Tomorrowland, I knew what was going on. It was stupid and silly, but at least I wasn't bone confused here. This is one of those cases where confusion can ruin the experience, because it just makes the characters come off as stupid, crazy, or just, well, racist. Like, hey, it's hinted that all these historical figures did something here. Why are we not focusing on that? I don't know, we just have to do this or that, make the teacher the bad guy randomly at this point, but then all of a sudden he's and now look back. At the sky. Yeah, look up at the sky. And again, I don't like how the teacher is a bad guy at one point, but then he's just, oh, I'm gonna let it go now. I sure I lost an eye and part of my body for it, but I have seen the light <laughs> that apparently living people matter more than dead people, which is again one of the worst conveyed morals ever. Like yeah. <laughs> it was just that was terrible. And that's what makes this a tragic failure, honestly. It's a movie that starts off really good, promising, sort of flounders a bit, but it keeps going, but then just comes asunder at the end. I would recommend watching this if you're a Makoto enthusiast, but by God, don't come to it for a serious experience. You're going to be disappointed. And it feels weird because I didn't even feel this disappointed with Place Promised. And heck, at least with Garden of Words, the weird thing with Garden of Words is like, well... It was bad, but I felt overall more entertained by the end in a weird sense. And then as in like, well, Garden of Words was at least consistently bad, so it's something you could laugh at. This, it starts off good, but turns bad. It's just, ugh. Yeah. I mean, so it's a weird case for me, which I would consider better. I guess it, object... It, it, depend, it depends on what you prefer. Do you prefer a movie that's just plain bad consistently, or a movie that has potential but ends up squandering it? I guess going strictly off of quality overall, objectively speaking, this is the better movie. If I had to go with the movie that gave me more entertainment while we commentated on it, though... <sighs> Oh yeah, Garden, Garden of Words, of made, words. made it so easy. To, I know. To, especially that god-awful ending. <laughs> That ending. Mm. So, what a shame. I mean, again, this movie is gorgeous, but folks, it's just, at the end, it evens out to being meh at best.
Mm-hmm. But you know what? I still had fun commentating on it, even if a bit of that was spent raging. We had a good old time, didn't we? I'm looking at the sky. Yeah, that's what I always. Yeah, that's what I always <sighs> say. For uh, for as bad as his movies can get, they're all as interesting. And hey, movies. look at the bright side. At least he didn't go full Frank Miller with the sky. Nah, nah I don't think Shinkai, Shinkai is way too. Uh, remember, Jova, like uh, Frank Miller masturbates to women, whereas he uh-huh. masturbates to the sky. So. Frank Miller and a city Pedro. Yeah. Well, that, well, yeah. True, but at the very least, Shinkai's sexualization of the sky is actually, at the very least, pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, folks, that was Children Who Chase Lost Voices, and then I just realized none of the characters chasing Lost Voices were really children. Not really. True. No. That, 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 that title is kind of confusing. All right, everybody, tune in for Your Name, the the movie that yes. that put the mo- that Shinkai's magnum opus, the highest grossing Japanese film in history. Really? Uh, it even saw yeah. cinema releases in the yes, UK. It, yeah, yes, yes, it, it, yeah, it was spirited away for a long time, then Frozen surpassed it, and now Your Name surpassed it. So Your Name is as of uh, right now, as of the time of this recording, the highest grossing film in Japanese history. Impressive. Well, see for that it's, movie, it's, then. It's, it's, it's the movie that finally got him, you know, uh, in the limelight. Like, uh, he's now being regarded as one of the big anime masters of, 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 of current times. I don't yeah. think he, I don't think he has made enough good movies to get to that. But I, but I, but oh, 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 it could be worse. It could, it could be, uh, like, a, maybe an he just guy found... like the creator of Evangelion. So maybe he just found a proper team and that's what's gotten him to the status. Who knows? Like I said, your name, it could have been that brilliant masterpiece if it had just 20 more minutes to well, develop the characters a bit further. Just how a long bit was that more. movie already? Um, we'll guys, uh, I'm sure we'll have plenty hours. of time to see when two we get hours. to the commentary right, of it. Too bad. It, it. It was two hours exactly, but it needed 20 more minutes. Just yeah. 20 more minutes. Okay, Pedro, you well. can warn it when we get to the commentary of that movie. I know. In due time. See you for that. Time. See, see, see everybody. Ya. See ya.